Hi. Oh. I didn't check out if there was any, uh... Oh, Jesus Christ! Time of the morning, dear ladies! My name is Isaac the guy, and man, am I excited for this game! My friendly neighborhood, let's go! I played the demo a while back, and I was really, really impressed with it. And not only that, but I found out a bunch of stuff after that, which was that... The game is made by John and Evan Shemansky, who are brothers to David Shemansky, who is... David is the... Uh, developer of Iron Lung, among other things. Very, very talented guy, very nice guy. And then John and Evan are his brothers who made this game. And I met them, perfectly lovely men as well. Really, really nice guys. Uh, and I was, t I was like DMing John about this game and he gave me a code for it. I'm very thankful for that. And I was so sad because I couldn't play it yet. I had to wait a while because I went traveling for like a week. And I was like, man, I really want to get into it and play it. But here we are, finally. I'm here, John. I did it. I finally made it. We fixed it, John. We did it, Joe. Uh, I'm excited for this. You guys know what this is all about. Uh, Sesame Street gone wrong, or however else you want to call it. I think it's going to be great. I have high hopes for this game. I saw something. I felt something, maybe. It was more real than reality. I felt like I was lost walking through this dark tunnel and the ground beneath me stretched on for an eternity. Uh-huh. Felt like I was dying. Oh. <laughs> He swerved out of his lane, striking a passenger van that started a pileup, killing seven. In weather... Cool! Can we just get to the puppets? I don't want to hear about real-world disaster. City ...tomorrow night. Oh, yeah, baby. I just had this insane sense of... of um, emptiness and terror, and I just... I just... I don't care who she sees. <laughs> We're not even married. Do you hire people to act wants. these out? That's fun. The aviary. So, so, Ashley, what did you do to end up solving the problem? I ignored it. Tried to forget. I watched television. And that helped? <laughs> it dulls the pain. <laughs> and that helped? <laughs> no, idiot! I had to deal with my issues. My friendly neighborhood. Are you excited? Can you say excited? I don't actually know who I play as in this game. It could be a puppet for all I know. Uh, let's okay. go normal because we always do. Last job of the day. Gordon. What's this one about? Uh, okay. Sprocket Palm Property Management Work Order Request. Uh, crewman assigned Gordon J. O'Brien. That's me. I forgot that I had like a really cool voice. Vacant studio lot regained power last night and began televising over top normal programming. The client has requested that the broadcast array on top of the central hotel be disabled to prevent further incidents. Supervisor signature, J. Crewman O'Brien is on probation for sullen and impolite behavior towards clients. Failure to satisfactorily complete this work order will result in termination. You can't fire me, I quit. Whoa. Disable the antenna. Oh, oh look at those beautiful clouds. The last job of the day is always the worst. Oh, I thought you were going to say it's your last job ever. <clears throat> I was like, oh, you're one day away from retirement? You're definitely dying at the end of this game. Ricky with friends. Twice daily on public access. That's a big ass building. Let's look around first. I want to see what the aviary is all about. I want to see what Soundstage 4 is all about. It's locked. There's a key card reader. Okay. I'm into it. This looks fantastic. Hey, there's one of the puppets. 
Muppets, fellas. Do they have a name for the overall just neighborhoodians? Friendly guys, hey, sit down and take a picture. Don't mind if I yes. Some sort of slot. Okay. I doubt I can go in the front door. There's an elevator. Maybe, Maybe it still works. I guess I can go in the front door. Wait, what was around the side of the building? There was a bunch of arrows pointing me that way. Around the side of the office. Hold on, we'll get to it, we'll get to it. Easy, ease yourself into it. Relax, make yourself some coffee. Make sure it's top of the morning coffee. We just released cold brew. Go buy some, it's delicious. Looks like a crank could go here. Ooh, crank those gameplays. Zip zap, here come the signals. Joy televised from MFN. Sounds like an alien invasion or a cult. Commerce Crest. Okay, so these are all places we have to go later. Got it. Love that. That car horn sounds like it's about to go wop 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 Oh, that's a. What the f Ugh. Is this glue? No, that's 100% Muppet jizz. Holding that shit together. Ring me! Ring me. Okay. Well, at least I know I'm human. <laughs> Ray oh, Curtain. Jesus! Bring up the lights! The neighborhood is coming to town! Uh... Hello. It's Socko! Disconnect the antenna. Television's heartbeat has returned. A spirit of cheer brightens every child's eye. The cry goes round the kindergarten class. The neighborhood. The neighborhood. The neighborhood! Okay. I I'm here to disconnect the antenna. I am Ricky the Sock. Your television will never be the same. We. Hold on. Did you say disconnect the antenna? <laughs> yes. Oh my, no, 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 no. You mustn't do that. That would be a catastrophe. It's broadcasting over the news. The news? No, no, trust me. The antenna is just fine as it is. Doesn't need any disconnecting. Tell you what, you wait here and I'll... And I'll, and I'll uh... I'll get, you, I'll get you some... Ew! Oh, that wasn't pleasant. I'm gonna take a sec. <laughs> um, okay then. Oh, he's great. Where you been, Socko? Private property's inherently theft. The neoliberal fascists are destroying the left. Okay. That was... Hey, Ricky! Special. Ricky, in there? What are you doing? Come on out and talk to your old friend Gordo. I've got lots to talk about. Okay, I got a key card with four on it. You want a snack? A one. I don't have any tokens. Oh man, this is definitely something that goes in the slot at the aviary. I have to find the second one. Nice. Do you think my key card would open up the place next to where it said there was a key card reader? Ah, uh, we're in here now. Let's not go too far. Okay, so Norman is the main one. Looks like something could be placed here. Norman, Junebug, Leonard. I'm gonna forget all these names. Liliana and George. Okay, let's see if I can guess them. Uh, Norman, Junebug, Leonard, Liliana, and George. Yeah, I remember them. I'm gonna forget those. What I like about this game, or at least when I played the demo of it, is how involved the mechanics of the game are and the map and everything like that. Like, it really feels like the guys wanted to make, like, a Resident Evil-y survival horror game. 
where you actually have to explore the areas and find the maps and do collectibles and make sure you have the whole map covered and all that. I love that. Okay, there was nothing up there. Maybe I do actually have to go out to this other door. Hey, hey. Norman! Where are you going, bud? Oh, I want to be your friend. I hope they say even more unhinged shit in the final version of the game. Holy God, Gordon, you've arms the length of a giraffe's neck. Jeez, do you see that? Whoosh. Ooh. Ha ha. A token for me? You shouldn't have toots. Norman. Where'd you go? First broadcast, television's friendly new neighbor. This week, we saw the premiere of a new series on the City Network aimed at preschool-aged children, My Friendly Neighborhood. The show centers on the titular Friendly Neighborhood and its resident puppets, who, with the help of adults like Stevie, Richie Bromine, Bromine, teach viewers about a variety of subjects, including members, letters, and how to be a friendly neighbor, or oh, numbers, members. The show's catch-all term for age-old lessons about caring and sharing. While adult viewers may find their messages trite, children's hearts are captured by the neighbors. Each felt furball, ooh, I like that, becomes a beloved friend whose words are hung on to with a trust and devotion rarely seen in older audiences. Previously aired as Ricky and Friends, that's why it was called that. An independent public access television, the series and creator Al Gerswald were recently signed by the City Network Broadcasting Group and production moved to the historic City Network Hotel studio on the west side. Their move into the big leagues of broadcasting is accompanied by text is illegible. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna move you guys just a little. There, scoochie, just, just a smidge. Just a smidgy scoochie. Sorry, I laid hands upon your person without consent, but I needed to move you over because it was weird if I'm like off center. I just, every time I look over at it and I see myself, it's just weird, I can't handle that. ABC right, what did you write actually? And it was manifested on to me that these things be good, which yet are corrupted. I'm not reading all of that religious garbage. Ho oh, ho ho, Norman, are you there? The Mystic Maze. Ooh, I would watch the shit out of that. The Shadow Sapphire. Can you count to nine? Health Alax, that's so Bioshock looking. In a very, very good way. Puppet Pirate's Cove. There's so much personality. There's a lot of these People keep calling them like mascot horror that are going around like a Poppy Playtime, Garden of Ban Ban, um, Five Nights at Freddy's. But I think this one is definitely a cut above the others with how hey, I'm Norman. how much effort oh, has gone into it. Is anyone there? Just show up to be a friendly face in the background. Hi, Norman. What are you doing? To recite too. Let me show up. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I knew that was going to happen, and I did it anyway. <laughs> Why is he so freaky? Go away, Norman. I don't want to be anywhere near you. What the heck is going on here? Is that... Is that Leonard? Jump down? Do I want to? What? This feels like a terrible idea. Oh my god, there's someone dead here. Sweet token. Dude, take everything. Everything that's not taped down, including the tape. Take everything. Everything can be a weapon if you throw it hard enough. Oh. Is it red light, green light? What do you think, Leonard Love? Are you talking to yourself? Hey! Cut it out! You're scaring the kids! Alright, bye! Hopefully that's the last I see of her. Wait, what's this poster? Puppet Pirate's Cove. 
Yes! See, I love that! I love that the guns are based around letters in this game. It's so fun! You can use health Alex, to restore health. Press tab and open your inventory. Oh! Look at this! Main Street, the neighborhood is having an outdoor bazaar. Everyone is lining up at Leonard's antique display to try on a beautiful pair of earrings. Pearl enters, sees the earrings and cuts into the line, pushing Liliana out of the way and causing a commotion. Stevie, standing up from a bench, Pearl, that wasn't nice. Pearl sheepishly, Pearl's sheepishly glances around at the others who are all glowering, glowering, I never know how to say that word, at her and hunches in shame. You can't just push people out of the way to get what you want, Pearl. It's more friendly to think about the other people first. Do you see? Pearl shakes her head timidly. Well, maybe this will make it clear. Put another before yourself. Put another before yourself. Before you go, see if someone needs help. Great song. I'm gonna learn so much. I'm gonna learn everything I need to know about society through this game. How to deal with people, how to get tape out of a toilet. Toilet tape. Felt fur balls. Felt fuzzy fur balls. Felt fuzzy fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing? I don't know. The mail? The mail comes every day. I look out the window, waiting for the moment it appears. And then when it does, I rush outside to see what I got. Sometimes it's little pieces of paper. Sometimes it's big boxes. No matter what, I always open it immediately. My favorite new pair of socks? I got it in the mail. A letter from a dear old friend? I got it in the mail. An assortment of the best bugs the world has to offer? Well, that one just appears in my house. Mashed skunk cabbage? In the mail! My neighbors stuffed into a box and shipped to my house? In the mail! The stockpile of greasy hamburgers that I cooked at my vacation home? Come on, say it with me! In, in the mail! Florida, in the mail! Did, mm -hmm. did you say you got skunk cabbage? In the mail? Is that a... Is that just weed? Did you just get weed in the mail? In the mail! Ooh, I really, really want that key. Also, you should, yeah, pick these up. Pick up everything. There's left button to swing. Ha! 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 Well, it's fucking useless here, isn't it? What am I hearing? Ha! Ha! Hey! Ha! What's the fucking point? I can't hit anything. I can't jump. I have no friends. Everyone hates me. Why am I here? <laughs> Let's find out. I'm gonna smack the shit out of this Muppet. You're gonna get owned. But Jesus Christ. Okay, you guys do not fuck around. When enemies are knocked over, you can tape them. Look at an enemy and press E. Yeah, now you're bondaged. I guess I gotta use that. Stupid fucking, stupid fucking puppet. It's all your fault. Die! Oh, there's another one. That's Junebug. Oh. I don't know where the hell I'm going. Ooh. Can I... Are these mine? Nice. So I won't need this till later. I'm gonna stash that for now. So this is my safe room. Got it. Can I open this? Uh, heal. For six? Why not? Haha! <laughs> That's so cool! We have to spend five cents to save as well? Ooh, a map! Yes! Okay. Um. I'll save. 
I think I'm wasting all my tokens though. God damn. Um, Alright, where have I been and where am I going? I'm here. I got a little face. I've never wanted to kill people more in my life. Where does this go? Oh, this is where I was. This is where I started. So that's the stage four atrium. Um, did I go to the VIP dressing room? I'll learn. Oh, now ah! I'm just gonna do that and draw you away from that. Because I don't want to risk getting hurt. That's why I didn't come here. Oh, Jesus! Ooh, who is this stud? Have a smiling day! And if you don't, I'll come into your house while you're sleeping and snip, 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 off go the toes and I'll eat them down until nobody knows. <laughs> oh, it's Richie Bromine. A gun! There you are! Now, don't toddle Ricky. off again. I've got some snackaroos waiting back in the lobby. Hey, what's going on here? Your puppet friends are attacking me. Oh, are they? How embarrassing. By the way, what's your name? Gordo. What? Your name, your moniker, your handle, your nom de plume. <laughs> it's Gordon. Gordon? What a beautiful name. I could say it all day. Gordon. 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 Is this a gun? <laughs> Does it work? Oh my, that's where I left that. I was hey! Oh, 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 oh. Fine. If you're gonna go gallivanting all over the place, then at least watch out for Pearl. Pearl? You know, the enormous bird that crushes people. Great. Don't get on her bad side is all I'm <laughs> What was that? It's Pearl! <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do this. A, B, C, D, E, fuck you! Hey, hey guys! What's going on? You wanna get shot in the fucking head? Oh my god, oh my god, you guys take way more bullets than I thought! Norman? Just die already! Christ! Is there anything else to pick up in here? I finally got it working. It's a real beaut. I think I'll call it the stenographer because it shoots letters out of an index. Shouldn't be dangerous at all, but it'll really give someone a clonk if they get hit in the head. Should be useful for security, special effects, fun, etc. Okay. Anything else I can pick up here while those guys are incapacitated? Okay, bye bye. Bye bye. See you later. Bye bye. Hell yeah. Oh, it's time to go murderizing. I'm gonna fuck dudes up with this. Locked. Locked. I can Can't go either. that way. I gotta go this down here. Anything behind this? Alright, where else did we miss out on? I wanna go down by... Junebug, maybe. <laughs> I don't want to go out while it's red. Are you blocking anything? Ooh, I want that. I want that. That's ammo. But do I spend ammo to get ammo, or do I just clunk you on the noggin? Jesus Christ, you guys wake up really quick. Woohoo! What? <laughs> no! That's not what I wanted to do! You better not be back- Oh! Oh, Jesus. She's terrifying sounding. Yes. That's what I wanted to do. Now you can go out the door. <laughs> A little wonky, but I'll accept it. It made for some fun. Can I shoot this now and get the key? Yeah. I see how it works. So I need a... A diamond-shaped key for that. Music! I've heard music before. Have you ever heard of Shut the Fuck Up? 
I bet you've never shut your mouth once in your life. Is there a circle door? Oh, yeah. Don't wake up. Don't wake up. Stay, stay over there. I don't want anything to do with it. Bunk this! Hell yeah! And again! Omne Padre de Spiritu Santo. <laughs> Pizza, burgers, cookies, food! Eat it all! What are you waiting for, Gordo? We should totally be eating! We get beaten up before! It's probably better to eat! Tape shut, yo. You could pull that off if you wanted. What are you, funny fella? I can't do anything with you, this tiny little cute whale! Stink. Educating the world! I wonder what all of these say. Oh wait, they're all the same thing. Does somebody have this? I'm gonna look it up afterwards, because this is like tiny, tiny, tiny to read. And I could get through it all, but we'll be here all day. Um, but I want to read it afterwards to see what it is. Feather hang. Wet pearls do not touch. Okay. I want to see this pearl. I'm gonna shoot them in the head. I found a cheat tape. Sick! Is that the only thing that was here? No, surely not. Do these rooms go green if I found everything in them? Like Resident Evil? Because I love that. I love when you're able to like clear out a room properly. There you go. I'm gonna tape you up because I don't think I need to right now. Bada bing, bada boom, baby. Sometimes you get the spice that you need. Why am I back here? I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> I don't know where I'm trying to go. Can I go through this door with that key? All right, you're not in here. I thought I needed... Ah! For some reason I thought that this was like... Two... A uh, key with two circles on it. And I was like, I don't know where I go! That, that makes sense. It makes sense. The circle key goes in the circle door. This must be one of the old sets. Damn, this is sick. Oh my god, there's a lot of them here though. Are you able to come down? That's George. That's Junebug. That's Leonard. I'm learning. I'm learning them all. Okay. I'm kind of glad I can't go in there. Ooh, but there's a key. Can I... Okay, can't do that. Let's not attract any attention. Shh. Let's just keep it all civil. We're all friends here. It's my friendly neighborhood. No need to get upset. Ooh, if I get a square key, I can open this. I love that. It's just so satisfying to be like, oh, I got the diamond key, finally! Let's go to the diamond doors! Okay, I'm gonna have to start bashing some faces in in this other room. Well, maybe go this way, actually. Where am I going? When you go to the park, bring some food for all the wild animals. <laughs> and you can bring sunflower seeds for squirrels who can bring Ooh. Wait! <laughs> he said for the animals, bring sunflower seeds for the birds. Something for the squirrels. For the dogs, you can bring the squirrels. <laughs> oh. All he needs is a friend. That's sad. Okay, so we open up the thing behind him. Can't do anything in there. All right, let's go down and out. So I was swapping his limbs with things. These puppets are freaky. I want to hear the one again about putting your 
hands inside your mouth and then swallowing your hands. <gasps> That's Liliana. We haven't seen Liliana yet. Or have we? My, my, in my old age, my brain is gone. Oh. What's that sound? Is that Pearl? Okay, I just need that. It's unlocked. Okay, can I just leave then? Oh my god! That's quite a bird. Holy shit, she's massive! Oh my god, the animations are so cool. Oh, I do not want to get near that thing. She's the only thing that's roaming. Everything else is standing still and just swaying in place. Okay, let me go back up past her. Oh, God! Hi? You're actually kind of cute. Wait, you don't hurt me? Oh, Maybe you just want a friend as well. Everybody could do with a friend. <laughs> Except you, Liliana, die! Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. The hitbox for this thing is hard to figure out sometimes. Okay, she went way further than I had hoped. <laughs> uh, should I tape you guys up? I... Don't really want to. It feels like a waste of tape. Uh, okay, just go, just go, just go, just go, just go. <sighs> this game is stressful. Okay. That's a new voice I'm hearing. What time do I set it to? I mean, there's a pizza here. It could be pizza time. But it's already on pizza. I don't know what that is. Whoa. Ho, 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 ho. Okay, what do we do with this fucking place? I could place something here. Oh my god, do I have to get all of those? Ooh, fish. Wait, is there a fish on this thing? If I change it to that, will it... Will that open? Yeah! Nice. Okay, is there any more of those lying around? What are the shapes? What are the shapes? Okay, everybody, help me out. What are the shapes? Nothing in here. Oh, never mind. Dude, I have loads of ammo. I should just be blasting some fuckers. Pizza. This could be a pepperoni slice. It could be a tomato. It could be a fucking bowling ball. But everything's food. Uh, mushroom, onion. Okay, look out for those. I kind of want to tape you up because you're right in the middle and I feel like you're going to be a pain in my rectum. Or you? Oh, you're the guy who was in here. Damn it! Now you're out and walking around. <laughs> I thought I could smack you enough to knock your ass out. Okay, now I need to fucking take one of these. God damn it! I'm gonna tape you up. <laughs> you feeling good? Be happy about your decisions in life? Go on. Make my day. I'll do it. I'll blast you. Yeah. Think of it as a warning. I could do a lot worse. Thermonuclear waste. But make the biohazard symbol instead. 
This dude's talking like Muppetheimer. There you go. Nice. A letter. <laughs> He's just chilling out. He's having fun. He's having a good time. Don't worry about him. Don't feel bad for the Muppets. Don't feel bad for these puppet weirdos. If I see anyone in the comments feeling sorry for them, I want to put you on blast. I'm the one you should be caring about. Only me. Oh, maybe I can uh, talk to my, my Echo. Hello. Hello. Oh, hey there. Oh, hey, hey there. It's, it's uh, nice to meet you. Oh, he left. <laughs> hey there, kids. I live in your TV set. <laughs> Talking to his echo and said, "Oh, he left." <laughs> oh man, the writing is really good. Uh, what's up here? You eat the channels we never watch. What are you talking about? Oh, safe room, nice. Um, I don't need to heal. I mean, I could, but I feel like I can just save, and if I die from something, I can just. Try and avoid it next time. Um, anything I can put away? I went back to the reception as well, because Ricky said he had snacks for me. Or should I say snackaroos? And he did. I got those. Um, wait, no, I want to stash that, not move it. Um, I guess I'm not hard for space yet. Oh, wait, let's move these, because I don't have a shotgun yet. Is that the bird I hear walking around? Nice, more tape. Hey guys, what's going on? Just hanging out? Okay. Nice. Alrighty. Let's see what's in this door down here. This is great so far. I'm having a lovely, wonderful time. I hope you are too. Don't forget, when you're watching a YouTube video, don't forget to like it. Because if you don't like it, I will come to your house and kill you. But also, if you haven't subscribed so far, then you should do that as well. Because a subscribe a day keeps a YouTuber's depression away. <laughs> hey, I can't go anywhere. <laughs> Where are we supposed to go? <laughs> now you have two hands in your stomach. That's how numbers work. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> don't, don't forget to hack your hands back up. <laughs> now he's talking about eating hands. Maybe you should bring that letter back and put it in that, but I can't finish it yet, so. Looks like it's for mail. Oh, you think? Didn't this say it was a f Ooh, Jesus. It was a fake door? False door, yeah. Hmm. Um, where haven't I been? I'm glad that you guys don't follow me as soon as you see me. Hey! Hey! Oh. I didn't check out if there was any, uh... Oh, Jesus Christ! Ah, God, now I'm in danger. Just fucking die already. Okay, you're getting taped. You're getting taped for that. Holy Christ. I was just saying it's nice that you don't chase me after you see me. And that exact thing happened. Oh, I can go up here. Where did the Norman go that I shot? Uh-oh, don't fall. You might break your neck. Whoa! Damn, that's where the onion one is. Shit. And the mushroom. Shit! I should have just changed it to one of them. I was obviously going to run into one of them eventually. Okay, I guess I'll drink one of these. Oh, Jesus! Jesus Christ, George! Holy crap! It's hard to aim this bloody thing sometimes. Whew. Okay, and...
And that's where the last one is. Okay. At least I know where they are. Where is this taking me? Glasses? What the fuck do I need glasses for? Okay, P. We have P U G. We can spell a pug. Kill outside. When I'm angry, I feast upon the tears of my enemies. When I'm smart, I eat someone else's food. And when I'm in a hurry, I. Well, maybe I shouldn't talk about that one. <laughs> You're kind of freaking me out. Okay, let's go. Oh man, you guys are back. What does Norman notice? Well, let's see. What does Norman? Fuck, am I? Oh, drum kid, baby. Let's go. Ooh, and an M. Nice. Oh, I can't play. Come on. Let me boom, go, doom, go, doom, go, boom, go, doom, go, boom. I want a gunga bunga dunga dunga bunga dunga bunga. Haven't you ever wanted a gunga bunga dunga bunga dunga bunga? Norman has noticed. <laughs> okay, now I'm back here. This is where I was before, right? Yeah. I need a lot more tape. I only have one tape for someone. There's no handle on this side. Oh, dicks. Wait, I might be able to just get around you. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Gordon's getting upset! Okay, I need to change this to onion or mushroom or red. Should I... You stay taped on the ground there, buddy boy. I'm gonna tape this guy. This. Okay. Now I gotta go back. Shh, shh. Easy does it. Easy does it. We got this. As long as that bird doesn't attack me, we're fine. Biohazard symbol. What are you talking about? These are so weird! Who taught you these things? I thought you guys were the ones teaching! Can't wait till I get a shotgun. A shotgun of letters. What would a shotgun of letters be called? Like if you fire like multiple letters. It should be like a vowel gun or something. Or the the consonant! So it just fires consonants at people. Just like BOOM! Nothing but consonants. Okay, last is the red. Okay, so I just need two more. Whoa, I ate candy bar. Whoa, whoa, I'm so fast. I'm gonna puke. Nice. Okay, you're getting taped. I don't care. You're getting taped. Okay. Ooh, nice! I have a lot of stuff done now. Let me... Can I go down there? No. Oh, man. I'm so fast! I am speed! Look out, everybody! All you see is the human blur. Sorry, bird. Sorry, bird. Sorry, bird. Don't come near me. Whoa! I saw your feathers. Oh. Okay, I need to save again. I need to save again because I'm worried that I'm going to die and lose all my progress, and I will be like wildly upset if that happens. I don't know what the glasses are for yet, so I'll put it in there. Oh, I got the square key. What am I doing? What am I doing, guys? What am I doing? You were probably yelling it too. You need to yell louder. That's how I hear you. There's so many square doors around that I can get into now. Wow, look at this. It's a coin. 
What else is in here? It's a letter! Can you say letter? Okay, I just need one more. God, this chocolate bar lasts a long time. I am so fucking fast. Woohoo! Wee! A yahoo! A waha! Uh, and I'm slow again. Well, that just stinks. What's it spell? Oh, I need two more. I didn't realize. P S G L O R? I don't know what you're trying to spell. Uh, flower shop. Flower shop. You're not the flower shop, are you? Alright, the, the register. Yes! I opened the register with the square key. What key goes in the square hole? The round key. <laughs> what key goes in the round hole? The square key. Alright, where else do I have left to go? I don't know. So the newsstand is what I have left to do here. There's something here. The mailbox? I don't have any mail though. <laughs> the friendly neighborhood? <laughs> Spare me. Or maybe that was it. Nope. Um, something in the back that I haven't gotten. <laughs> you're cool, right? Like, you're not- Because they warned me about you that you would crush me. But so far, you've been lovely, so... Okay, yeah, it went green. Nice. Ah, yeah, this is a square door I can go through. The orange sun key? Oh... Are you dead? Oh. Ah. Ah. Oh. Jesus Christ! Stupid puppet. Yeah! You fucking said it, Gordo! Bitch! Kill him! Kill him, Gordon! Kill him! Sorry, Duck, you didn't deserve that. Okay, is that all the letters? I think it is. I only needed one more at this point, right? Yeah! Okay, let's see what we're gonna spell. I love the the fake New York set with all of this stuff in the background. It's really cool. The level design and the, the sort of visual style and the art style and everything is just... It's just wonderful! It just, it just makes my heart happy! God, I have a ton of ammo. All right. Okay. Nez. Am I supposed to be? Oh, never mind. Oh, it just spells neighbor. <laughs> See, I wasn't even looking at that, I was looking at the lights. Plus, I spell neighbor the British English way, which has a U before the R. Neighbor. And a lot of you are going to say that makes no sense. But you know what does make sense? The metric system. You should all be using the metric system. Like, oh, how many fucking yards is it to that mailbox? What is yards? Okay, I'm just gonna go. You still freak me out a little bit. I, I don't really trust it. Ooh, I got the crank! Oh, nice. This unlocks a different part of the studio. It's a ah! Run! Run, Gordo! Ooh, I didn't like that. Oh, what else did I get? I got like a letter, didn't I? You are here, stage two. Yeah. I know where it goes. I know where to crank. You pointed it out the first time. I also love that MFN, My Friendly Neighborhood, also looks like Motherfucker Neighborhood. The Motherfucker Network. Oh, it's dark now. Cool. This 
has to be inspired by Bioshock, right? Skimanski brothers? Come on, this is a Bioshock, right? That's cool, though. It's very clever, the way... Secret entrance. Shh. I like that the, like when I came out of here, the puppet made me follow into that area, and now that I have the stuff to go here, the signs are all pointing me down here. It's hard to get stuck, basically. There we go. <laughs> oh, this is where the demo started! Oh, well, no getting back up that way. Yeah! A, B, C, one, two, three, do, do, do. I think I did the exact same thing. Ricky's gonna come out of here. Come on, Ricky! <laughs> oh dear, oh my. You seem to be stranded in the basement. How do I get out of here, Ricky? Oh, having a clue. Never come down here myself. Why? What's got your overalls in a knot? I'm trying to get to the roof. The roof? <laughs> What's so interesting about the roof? Down here's much more intriguingly musty. <laughs> Unrelated. How do you feel about Blood Course Head Trump? <laughs> What is it this time? Well, Ray, of course. He's the best sort of monster janitor thing. But he's a little obsessed with uh, organic maintenance. Tends to pop out of pipes and clobber people with his wrench. Great. Are all of you puppets crazy? Well, Ray has always been a little grouchy, even before the shutdown. That's why they moved him down here. Only way out is by elevator, and he can't figure out how to use the buttons. <laughs> elevator. Got it. Oh, silly me. I forgot about the elevators. Really, Gordon, I wouldn't bother. The cables are probably rusted. I don't think they even run anymore. I'll take my chances. Wow, you're so courageous and stuff. Look, <laughs> I gotta go wash my hair. <laughs> He's my favorite. He's so good. Stupid puppets. Stupid puppets trying to get me. You'll never get me, puppets. I'm ahead of the curve. I also don't expect me to remember any of this. How much tape do I have? One, one. Um, a ton of ammo though. I should not be sparing with it. I should just shoot people, puppets, muppets, monsters, as soon as I see them. Oh, this is all so familiar now. What is that? <laughs> Shit! This gun does not shoot very fast! Woohoo! I'm just gonna tape you up. Anytime I get tape and I can use it, I'm gonna use it. Oh, it's a mouse! Can't kill him. Don't ask me why that's my first instinct. Okay. Um. Ooh. Puppets, Pir Puppets Pirates Cove, a triumph for the family by Richard Lightsbury. As the My Friendly Neighborhood franchise grows, it was inevitable for Gerswold's pro precocious puppets to make the move to the big screen. Fortunately, the first outing is appealing to more than just the younger crowd. Everything from the sumptuous sets to the scintillating score brings the swashbuckling spirit into the theater in a way that both children and adults can appreciate. Puppets Pirate's Cove has the most realistic depiction of a panic attack in a movie. The plot centers around a young lad named Clark, Jerry Love of everyone fame, who sets sail with the puppets in search of treasure. They soon, however, discover that that the terrifying Captain Crocodile is in the control of the ship, and it's up to Clark and his plucky sea hand friend Ricky to... Ricky! So Ricky's from Pirate Puppets, Puppets, Pippet, Peter Pepper, Pick the Pepper, Pickled Cove. Studio rules, be friendly, keep quiet. Guests are not permitted. Neighbors are to be kept only in designated areas. Cables, wires, cords, okay. I get it, okay, I'm not supposed to be here, whoa. Someone's whole life is in that locker. Oh yeah. 
Oh yeah, this is so Resi 2, and I absolutely love it. It's a cute picture. Who's writing all the like, all working up? <laughs> oh, let's close that one. <laughs> all the like, all working no play makes Jack a dull boy things on the walls. Also, there's these yellow X's everywhere. I don't know if I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> What's through door number this one? So, I just, whenever I hear voices like that, I have to imitate them. It's not even a, is this the place with the shotgun? Yeah! It's not even like a, ha, that voice is funny. I just innately have to reproduce it. There's part of me that's like, I have to figure out if my throat can make that sound. Hank's inventor diary. I was hanging around the office last night to keep the pipes from freezing. So I had the time to work out the kinks in my latest project. The output is pretty flashy, but it uses up a lot of letters, so I'll need to conserve ammo. Hank. It's the shotgun, baby. Oh yeah. The novelist, that's what it was called. That's Let's a get writing. That's a better one than the continent. Press three stops at the novelist, okay. Because it fires a lot of letters at once, so it tells a story in one shot. Much more clever. See, that's why you guys are developing the game and not me. That's why you guys are, that's why you guys are the cool guy, Nikola Tesla, and I'm, you're, you guys are the Sigma, Chad, Nikola Tesla, and I'm the Beta, uh, uh, uh other inventor. Alexander Graham Bell. Because <laughs> he invented a telephone, you know, Betas. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. Who wants to get shot in the fucking face? Cause I'll do it. I'll do it real well. I'm just gonna play the mechanics that the game is affording me, you know? Tie up everybody. I'll be coming back through here. Did I kill him? Oh my God, where'd you go? Oh my God, I'm a monster. Where'd he go? Did he just bounce off somewhere else? He did, right? He just bounced off somewhere else. Oh, phew, I'm so glad he just bounced off somewhere else. And he's still alive, and everything's fine. Oh, boy. I was worried that I killed him. To all personnel, due to the construction of the new stages, this blast door has been locked using a punch card combination. Please insert the appropriate punch cards into the three terminals to open the door. In the event that you have lost your punch cards, this machine can be used to print replacements. Okie dokie. Uh, looks like it needs power. Looks like it needs power. What else am I gonna do without some power? Oh, there's no room? Damn. What is this thing? Metal piece. Shit. There must be a save room somewhere nearby though, right? Um, I'll use one of these actually. I'm super speedy. Woohoo! <laughs> must be a save room somewhere nearby, right? And I'm in it. I should have known by the music where the subtle, sultry Hey, baby. Thanks for coming around once more. We haven't seen each other much in these past few weeks, but... Man, you haven't changed a bit. Still looking as sexy as ever, baby. Why don't you come on over here and... Settle down while I play some smooth jazz to you. <laughs> If that made your skin crawl, good. It's supposed to. If that turned you on, good. It's supposed to. More often than not, those are the same things. Being disgusted and getting turned on, very close to being the same thing. Um, what could I get rid of? I do have a lot of these, actually. Let me just stash one. Yeah. Yeah. I also kind of want to save the shotgun for the boss. Can I store this? And the blue key? 
See, I kind of want to store it because I feel like it was for the other area, but this is the time when I actually still have it on, or I, I'll need it on me, and then they'll be like, Oh, you need the blue key for this! You know, it just gets really fucking annoying. Okay, I'll figure that out after. I figured it out once, I can do it again. Save station! Whoa, -ho, don't mind if I... yes. Alright, baby. Thanks for coming by, but... Daddy's got a jet. <laughs> Stick around. Uh-oh, keep door locked, please. You can't tell me what to do, because I don't care. Uh... Yes. Needs power. I'll get your power going, don't you worry, toots. It's just a case of turning one knob into another knob, and then... <laughs> easy peasy. Somewhere down here is the stage. I think it might be this one. Yep. Hey, who's there? Uh-oh, bonk! It's Ray! Hey, Ray! Oh, Jesus! What are you doing back there? As Stevie and Ricky enter Ray's workshop is overflowing with enormous piles of sewage. Ray? Where are you? I'm just gonna keep doing this. <laughs> Ray emerges from behind a large pile of sludge, slowly, eyes downcast. Ray, what gives? Everyone's sinks are overflowing. All the drains are clogged up with junk. Ray growls half-heartedly. Like that. I see. Someone made fun of your plumbing, and now you're too embarrassed to keep on working. Ray whimpers and nods. A pipe rattles and groans, spewing more gunk into the growing pile. Ray, if we don't get this cleared up soon, isn't the sewer gonna blow up and destroy the entire city? Ray, sometimes people make fun of us, even when we're doing the right thing. That's just how people are. They're shitheads. Oh. Jeez, that gave me a scare. Jeez, that gave me one heck of a fright. I didn't know what was going on. Okay, so metal piece into this goes into that. Boy, do I have just a thing for you. <laughs> um. Oh shoot. Goes into oh the thing for the power. Okay. There it is. For the sewer freight, you can bring yesterday's leftovers. For the sand pit, you can bring whatever's in your trash can. For the ambient environment, you can bring a punk rock band that practices in your neighbor's backyard sheds. And for me, your bestest friend, you can you can just bring a friend. All all I need is, is a friend. <laughs> I'm a you wanna come in here? <laughs> I'll just go around you. I wonder what happens when I ha! Dumbass! Wait, wonder what happens when you scream? I'm so glad I taped up both of you freaks. There's Ray! Howdy, Ray! What's going on? Oh! He looks like, um, like Cookie Monster. Okay, I need to get in there, though. Cool. That works. Yeah, get lettered on! I call it the Scrabble Blast! Bada bing, a bada fucking boom, baby. That's what it's all about. Oops. Okay, what, the, what did I, what did I make? I don't know which one I'm- I don't know what I fucking made. Okay, I need to go up and figure this out. Um, how did I get up there? Because, let's face it, I'm not gonna be able to guess off the top of my head. I'm gonna have to work for it. Um, so I need to make... Do I need to make seven? I forget how this works, hold on. So I need to make three, ten, and ten or seven. I'm not quite sure. I forget which one I actually follow. Let's try seven first. I'm just feeling quirky like that, because we already have a ten. I don't want to do another ten. Okay. Now I remember. Now I get it. Now I get it. Um, so to we need three, ten, and... So I need 
Circle, triangle, square. No, that's not right. I need square, square, triangle. Isn't that what I just did? Did I do a square, square, triangle? Let me see. I did. I am legendary. Okay, now we need 10. Uh, so square, square, circle. 10, baby, 10, baby. Nice. Um, and you're seven. Two plus six is eight, minus seven, yeah. Let's go see Ricky. Bada bing, bada boom, baby. Sometimes you put the spice of life on the salami and then boom, you got yourself a sausage. Oh, dear Jesus, I don't wow. wanna be down here. I wonder how deep this goes. You got me there, bud. I don't know. Uh-oh, shh. If you're in a cave-in, don't say anything. It's a health liability. Ah, right, I'm down here. I'm gonna... I didn't mean to use the shotgun. God damn it. Welcome! Thank you! I'm just gonna walk around. I'm gonna saunter this way. Oh god, you're much faster than I am. <laughs> Let me educate your fucking face with some letters, bitch. Okay. What is this one? Uh-oh, hot pipes. Don't touch them or you'll get set on fire. Ooh, triangle key soon. Wait. I was gonna try that one because I didn't think I'd actually be able to get into it. Yeah. Yeah, this is more important. I'll see if he wakes up, stab him in the face. It's locked with an electric latch. Come in! Yeah, then I have to do this to Strange unlock it. Of breaker box. A key! Someone keeps taking the breakers that you use to open these doors, so I put them in those lock boxes around the basement. Here's a map of where they are in case you need to get through. Janitor Hank. It's Ray. Oh, Ray is the one that keeps hiding them. <laughs> okay, cool. Oh, that's really nice. Wait, is, are these the boxes? Oh, these are just triangles. Anyway, I know where some of them are already. Stay put. Stay put. Stay put. Okay, I need the other key for that one. Okie dokie. Uh, anything else? What you got in here, is, huh? Cool guy poster. What are all these film reels? P two zero nine three three episode twelve, Pirates Cove. Hmm. That looks like tape. Hey, baby. Here we are once more together again. How you feeling today? Heard that you've been down on yourself lately, but I don't know why, baby. You're just a complete package. <laughs> oh, everybody at home right now is going, ah! So funny. Okay. Oh, shit, I have no tape. I'm gonna say I'm gonna tape you up because I have to come back this way eventually. Shit. Oh. Okay, square. No, not a square door. Do you got a square door? No. You're just a door. What does that sound? Lockbox. Zero, zero, zero. And a club or a clover sign. Hmm. 
We got some fucking noisy pipes around here. I'm getting lost. There's so many ways to go. I don't want to be here. There's so many ways to go that I'm like getting overwhelmed by choice and getting paralyzed by it. So I'm like, oh man, I want to go through that door and then I want to go through that door and oh, where does everything go? I don't know. And oh, this is a fast travel point. Uh oh, deep and stinky water. <laughs> Where do you bring me? Yeah. Sounds like a leaf blower. I hear smooth jazz again, baby. Oh, you know I do. What's up, mannequin? <laughs> Puppet space quest. <laughs> That's fun. Tape. Just what the doctor ordered. I have a ton of money. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can I, I can save ten times. I'm gonna save. That's a health station. That's okay. I needed to heal as well. And this is just back to the main area, right? Oh, it is. It'll all make sense. It all comes back around in the end. Yep. 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 Yep, 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 yep. Okay, perfect. Got it. Um, there is actually a lockbox back this way. Where the guy fell out of the ceiling. You stay down! Stay down and make no noise! Oh, you're alive now? God damn it! No room! Oh, boy, oh! Ah, shit. I think I actually have no room. Where did I put the other one? Oh, that is the other one. Um. Okay, let's just do this. That's such a waste. I didn't need to do that at all. Only to clear up space, but I don't want to. I don't want to go back. You go to the save room and then come all the way back here, and you know it's just annoying if I have to do that. So I'm just going to do it this way. Okay, I'm just going to do it my way, and you, like Frank Sinatra said, do it my way. And if you don't agree with that, then well, tough titties. The game's going to get completed anyway. We're going to get to the end of it regardless. It don't matter. I it's just fucking hang on. You think I can just put the things in without having it figured out? Yeah, I can. So I'm gonna do that so I free up some space. Here's another one. Wait, you're the third one actually. Uh, sewers. Breaker note. Uh, I actually think I have them in the right spot. Yep. <laughs> I have them in exactly as I'm finding them. Unless they just go in automatically into the spaces they're supposed to be in. But I would like to think that I am a genius! Hey, Junebug. <laughs> No one fucking cares, Junebug! Oh wait, I don't know if I'm... I think I'm actually supposed to be the other side of that. Shit. Uh-oh. Oh my god, there's so many of you! A, B, C, D, E, F, U, and your mom, and your sister, and your dad, and your mom, and I don't know the lyrics. <laughs> if you couldn't tell. Oh, I can't go this way. There's no power. Oh, shit. What am I supposed to do if there's no power? I think there's a lockbox in this safe room that I've... Yeah! It took me forever 
to find. And I don't know why. Um... Alright, anything I can take or put away? See, I haven't needed these keys again, so... I'm just gonna stash them for now? And if I need them again, I know where they are. No biggie. No problem. Is it this way I came? I forget. It's... Down the steps, yes. There's actually probably a faster way of getting back, but this is the way I did it. Oh, hey, Ray. What you doing just hanging out? Oh, he's hungry. He's not like the bird of the last area. He wants to eat you. And he wants to gobble you up and eat your innits and your guts and your ghouls and your, your, your gim gams. Oh, I didn't see this note last time. Letter to the editor. As the mother of a four-year-old who is devoted to my friendly neighborhood, I'm frightened by the tone of the morals on that show. Just yesterday, one of the characters said, You should always think of others before yourself, even when it's uncomfortable. But what if someone takes advantage of you for doing that? What if doing what's uncomfortable ends up exposing you to hurt and danger? Is it, a, is it really a good idea to teach children to be so reckless with their own well-being? I want my daughter to live the fullest life she can. So I don't want some TV producer filling her head with dangerous self-sabotaging ideas. I think from now on, she'll watch something else like Dora the Squarepants. <laughs> Sincerely, a disgruntled mom. Okay, have the last one. Here we go. The right hand door unlocked. Nice. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, not so beautiful. Don't come alive. Why is it so unnervingly creepy when nothing happens? Nothing happened, and it's so scary. I like that, though. I want a doll of that. I want, like, the actual doll with fabric and everything. That's so cute. That design is awesome. Ooh, some of these are... No swearing around the neighbors. No food near equipment. So now you're allowed to swear around the neighbors? I want one of the characters at one point to be like, Hey! Where the fuck are you going? <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Oh, that is so Resident Evil. Anything to pick up around here? Where am I? Uh, no. Wait, where does this boat go? Are they all connected? They can't be! There's just no way! I don't know where I am. Oh! All the way back, baby! Okay, I gotta shoot you. Um, wait, is it this way that I need to go? I'm so turned around in here. Why are you here? Oh, shit! I thought you were all flopped over so I could walk by you! No problem! No problem! Yeah, now I have the bolt cutters so I can go through this door. Shut up, Junebug! Stay down! Stay down or I'll pump you full of lead again! Another secret! A cheat unlocked! <laughs> I love cheats! It makes the game more fun! This must be the elevator Ricky was talking about. Cool! Wait, is that area done then? Am I out of the sewers? Oh, thank God! I never look at I never have to look at Ray in his stupid face again. Except there was another door that was closed. Maybe I can go back. Whoa! This is fancy. Music studio, TV studio, the puppet's big heist. Whoop mump caverns Thursdays on. 
If it's hard to pronounce, Great. no one's gonna watch it. Starting again. That's what was on before. Wait, what's in the background? That's not the lady. What's the big bird? Pecking at an upstairs window. Whoa. Whoa! Cool! <laughs> All the fruit have faces. That looks like an exit. Damn, good lord. Oh, so I'm in the main building now. Locked. Of course it is. When I arrived, I was like looking at this building from the outside, being like, oh, it's like Bioshock. Damn. Damn. I'll eat a chalky bar. I feel like the tape is far more important. Hello? Is, uh, anybody gonna come and, uh, check me in? <laughs> oh, these levels are so fucking cool looking. I love the style of everything. On the war, a reflection. I don't think the puppets should be talking about war at all. <laughs> Last month, oh, 1979. Last month marks seven years since the end of the war, so it seems like a good time to reflect on the impact it has had on our lives. Now, I'm not great at history, so is that the Cold War or the Vietnam War? Uh, uh, Alexa. Uh, hey Siri. <laughs> it's not, it's not Alexa. <laughs> What war happened in 1972? Vietnam War. See, that was where my brain was going, but I didn't want to, you know, <laughs> throw out all options and then you're right about it all. I think across the whole city, the war has left us feeling troubled. We were called to service for the sake of righteousness, love for one city, and protecting others. But in the end, we found that those calls were just noble lies. And behind them, the horror of reality thwarted our starry-eyed ideals. We left home as heroes and came back home as murderers. If I just read it, I would know that that was the Vietnam War. But the tension leads to a question. Why should we care about right and wrong, or friendliness, as the children's show puts it? Following such things can have a terrible cost. The only reason would be if there were some overarching purpose, some guiding goodness to our wanderings in the world. But that is exactly what an injustice like the war calls into question. Perhaps it is time to put aside those old ideas. Perhaps it is time to look for other sources of hope. Perhaps the wise man is the one who lives for himself. Sure, sure, war is hell. Yeah, it's bad. I don't think there's any- I don't think there's much to gleam out of war. Other than war bad. What's in this one? Who the fuck are these guys? There's George in the background, but I don't recognize the three little weirdos. <laughs> oh, that's such a good picture. <laughs> oh, man. I love this painting. I just can never remember the name of it. Oh, that's... Is it Saturn eating his kid or Jupiter eating his kid? Saturn. Oh, those are great. Okay, I don't think those others attack me. Go down, George! Christ! Okay, they do attack you. No! I didn't mean to tape him up, I meant to go through the door, and now I just wasted some of my precious tape. Oh, what oh. The fuck is this thing? There's no room in the toolbox, size four. Okay, well at least I got my tape back. Um, let's dispose of some things. 
Oh wait, it says when stuff is done. Does that mean that's done forever then? Yeah! And that's on... Ow! Oh, I see. And you're done! I didn't even realize. I I wish it would just tell me. <laughs> like, this is done. Do you want to get rid of it? There's no room in the toolbox. Oh, because I need to have a... A four space. I'm gonna move this over here and spell. Ha! Okay, now you should fit. What are you? Velvet mask. A velvet mask could have been used in a play or a horror movie. I'm assuming you go on to something like a mannequin or what have you. Um, do that. Uh, okay. There's space over here. Let's move you over there. No, 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 no. Stupid, stupid idiot! Uh, save station. Let's save up! Let's get some coins! Let's move out! Autobots, roll out! Well, maybe it's good that I caught you there. Oh, look! Aaron and Danny from the Game Grumps, uh, circa pre God. Aaron and Danny from the Game Grumps as angels. <laughs> Oh, so if you're on the roof... Oh, that's cool. If you're on the wall, you attack me? This is like something from a horror movie. The sort of thing that moves as soon as you turn your back. Don't say that! Hoboken! Well, I didn't move. Okay, anything else to get in here? Wait, where am I? I don't see myself. Oh, because I don't have a map. Okay, where the hell am I gonna use this mask? This place is massive and overbearing and very hard to figure out. Hello, somebody! I won't go through the big door yet. Who's messing up the place? Who's throwing Doritos everywhere? Whoa, that has like occult symbols on it. <laughs> These paintings are fucking dope. Oh, the puppet Lisa. The Mona Muppet. <laughs> oh, those are the glasses I have. Those belong to the bird. Okay. Got it. I don't know if I'm supposed to use them anywhere, like go back to an earlier section. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Why does nobody work here? Why is the place totally empty? Did the puppets rise up and kill everybody? I'm assuming yes, because they're trying to fucking kill me all the time. And I don't like it. Okay, lock from the other side. Okay, well great. I guess I'm not going anywhere today. I guess I'll just stay inside and shove my thumbs up my arse. Sounds like a fun time, honestly. What the? Who the fuck is making that noise? God, I so much ammo. Am I like maxed out on ammo? Oh God! The fuck is that thing? That is the statue that he said if you turn your back, it's gonna move and eat you. What the heck was Sleeping that? Be the best part of your I'm just gonna kill everybody. I'm gonna tape you all up. I don't care anymore. I'm Gordon Unleashed. All I want to do is go home and have fun. <laughs> Shut up, George. You're everyone's least favorite puppet. Everyone likes Junebug or Norman more. You suck. Get taped up, moron. 
Map! Finally! Every time I use ammo, I find ammo. Oh, I don't even have room. Yeah, I do. Let me just move some stuff around. Nice. Nice. This has been a very, very nice room to find. Just very, very nice. Lots of great stuff in here. And now I come out and I don't have to worry about you freaks. Where the fuck am I? I keep thinking I'm gonna come out at a place that I recognize, but I never do. Whoa. Wait. Is that the moon? Why does it look like a portal to hell? <laughs> These are so fucking cool! Dude! There's so many of them! It's locked. Oh, of course it is. God, it feels like I'm going through Hogwarts. <laughs> Do your alphabet somewhere else! Dude, you just look like you got slapped over that by your feet. No. <laughs> no. No, don't want to. Oh, now you're alive? Does shooting these in the head actually have any bearing on them? Does it kill them quicker at all? Oh my god, I keep thinking I'm gonna be like, yeah, I'm gonna come back around at the entrance now, and then I never do. Um, I guess I can use my shotgun then. Since I... I thought I would have to fight a boss in the last area. Like, fight Ray to get out, or something like that, but I didn't have to, so... For birds, you can bring sunflower seeds. Oh. For squirrels, you can bring peanuts. For dogs, you can bring squirrels. FG, hi! <laughs> you can bring yesterday's leftovers. For the sand pit, you can bring whatever's in your trash can. For the, For the sand pit, you can bring whatever's in your trash can. Oh my god, I need so much space all the time. Oh, what? Oh! You can just bring a friend. All, all I need is, is a friend. I don't like hearing that all you need is a friend. It makes me feel bad for you, and I shouldn't be feeling bad for you. I should be wanting to kill you. The audience cheers. <sighs> Exit exciting music plays. Lights flash around the stage. Ricky wearing bow tie. It's the eating game. Here's our star goblet. Goblet enters and takes her place at the podium. On oh, is that the, the mouthy one that's chasing me? On stage, a number of succulent dishes lie atop numbered podiums. Ricky says, Goblet, today's game is which dish? I'll ask a question and you need to eat the dish that answers it. Ready? Goblet begins to reach towards one of the meals. No, Goblet, you need to wait until I ask you a question. Ready? Okay, which one of these meals contains a cauliflower? Goblet snatches the meal closest to her and downs it in one gulp. A buzzer sounds. Uh, no, that was not correct. Okay, how about, without waiting for another question, Goblet begins downing meal after meal, plates go flying, the audience is cheering. No! No, no, Goblet! Sounds like a horror scene to me. Horror is quite around here. The eating game. Man, this is so cool looking! Okay, I need to come back. So many places to be. So many places to see. I'm gonna shoot you in the teeth. Lunch is my favorite meal of the day. I always eat. Okay, let's go to the kitchen. That's not that way. I went the wrong way. It's this one! Yay! Shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, I just love the fucking sound of Moida in the daytime. 
That sounds like Elmo. It's kind of sad. Shut up! Elmo says die, bitch! I really have no room. At all. Ugh. Oh, it's so quiet in here now when everyone's dead. Okay. I don't know. Oh. It's hard to aim this fucking thing. It's like sometimes I think I'm bang on, and then I'm way off. Where did that unlock? Oh, hey, you stay right there. Whoa. A whole bunch of stuff that I can't fucking bring with me. Cool. Looks like something is missing. Okay. Ooh. Is this back to the main hall? West office. I'll come back. There are so many places to go. What's eating you, Buckaroo? Looks like fun. Maybe I'll give it a shot. Oh, I can play. Ooh! Two, one, one, two, three. I don't know how I play. Press the build spare when it's your turn. Either draw a card or play a card to move that many spaces. First to the end wins. If you land a Norman, draw a card. Okay. I assume I just... Okay. Uh, if you land on Leonard... Poor Leonard is slow. If you're on Leonard, you can only play one. So I want to go three. Oh, not three! I was looking at his one. <laughs> so if I'm on Leonard, I can only... Hey! You can't do that! Oh! oh. Uh, Guess I gotta follow the rules. <laughs> Uh-oh! If you land on Goblet, you lose! Okay, so I can't land here. Okay, fun. I can figure this out. Uh, Junebug is wild. If you start your turn on Junebug, immediately play the top card of the deck. Okay. <laughs> Wait, the top card of my deck? Or like, the number, like the highest number? I guess it's highest number then. Almost there. Oh, he's catching up though. I just need one more. Come on. Come on! Oh! That's how I get that key! Hell yeah! Wahoo! Now that feels just good. Wait, I used one. Oh, and it filled it with that. God damn it. <laughs> okay, I unlocked that with the red diamond key. And now I should be in the teep. No! I keep thinking I know where I'm gonna be. And then it's never where I'm gonna be. Whoa. There's nothing particularly wrong with Puppet Space Quest, the latest addition to the My Friendly Neighborhood media franchise. Once again, we join the puppets as they embark on another grand adventure, this time on a journey to find the planet Oblong. And once again, they are joined by a hapless B-tier celebrity to provide some dramatic core to the neighbor's antics. It's all well constructed and even amusing. The problem is that it's just what we've come to expect from Gerswold's felt friends. What, sa what stands out most about the film is the sheer barrenness of translunar landscape. And I don't just mean visually. Here, there are no dazzling treasures, celebrity dreams, or gut-wrenching crime sprees to hold the audience's attention. All that space has is MFN's... All this space has is MFN's tired, childish moral vision. Even when they travel to the other side of the universe, the puppets can only offer the same moth-eaten yarn. Ooh, do you think the creator of them got upset? And then decided to, uh... Create new versions of the puppets that went around killing everybody? I need a place to be able to put stuff away. I need four slots, and I don't have four slots. Okay, um, I can't do this yet. 
Come on, give me a- oh, this is gonna be out into the main hall. Yeah. Um... Where is the nearest safe room? Nowhere near me. What's in here? Ugh, more masks and shit. Okay, I need to head back to a safe room and dump this mask. Ooh! Press forward to swap to the punctuation. Is that a grenade? Whoa! Hell yeah! That's cool! The punctuation. <laughs> I love that. That's so clever. Okay, I have to come back in here for the red mask. Let's get to a safe room and start dumping some shit. There. Finally, some space. Ugh, that feels good. I'm, you know what? I'm feeling so good. I'm gonna save. I also put my money in there. Cause I'm like, every time I need the money, I'm always at a safe room anyway, where I can just take it out. I should have room in my inventory now for uh, a film reel. Also, I had to go make myself a nice cup of top of the morning coffee. Oh, that cab is the shakes. It keeps you going. Aren't the new mugs cool? The glass mugs? I absolutely love them. They're so chic. They're so fetching. Um, where was the movie reel itself? Or, yeah, here. So take that and put it in this one. Oh, I can't take it back out again, so I hope that's right. They're all missing one. For some reason, I thought only one was missing a reel. Uh oh, I, 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 okay. Can I? So film reel, film reel four. Oh wait, there's nothing in one. This shows that. What does that say? I... I... something I didn't... Whatever. <laughs> I don't want to read! Ooh! Ooh! Oh! Are, is that cool? Are you... okay! I thought you were just going to get enamored by that and stay there forever. Oh, I need to go back and um, put the so put the glasses on the bird, or give the glasses to the bird, or do something with the glasses and the bird. I really hope I don't forget to do that. Um, okay, projector room still has stuff to be done in here, but I'm guessing it's just because I have to do this. It's a real projector. Press the corresponding button to start projection. The Luma Lux Infinity Play projector seamlessly loops the film by asynchronously, asynchronously rewinding from the collection reel during playback. That's pretty neat. That's pretty cool that you've got that technology. Oh, whoops. I'm very confused on where to go, though, and like what I've left to do, and you know. Wait, so it says there's stuff to do down here. Oh, because now I have space for these. Still stuff to do. Oh, the safe. Everyone, this safe has been installed to keep vulnerable items out of the hands of the neighbors. I don't want to include the combination here in case some of them can read, but let's just say it'll help if you see the flip side of things. Huh? Can I... I'm just gonna guess like 1979. <laughs> oh, I'm still missing a thing for it anyway. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. I can't do it, it doesn't matter. Can I play pool? Guys, could someone please play that MFN game with the Norman in the rec room? He's been waiting around for days again and it's starting to affect my target times knowing he's staring at the back of my head. Barry, Barry. What? Oh, sign Barry and then Barry! I can't find the second player's token and Norman won't let me play with anything else. Did someone pick it up as part of another game? I'm sorry, Claire, I grabbed it as part of the ch Oh, I already got it. That was to play this. Okay, and I need to find a place for masks. I'm just gonna keep exploring. That's the... the glory of the power of editing that... Oh, oh. 
Okay, you saw me really fast. The power of editing means that I can look here and this can happen and then suddenly- ah! Oh god. Why are there so many dead in here? You did this! You probably did, actually. It's locked. Okay, oh, this is into the actual theater. Okay, is there anything I can find in here worth... Worth anything, really? I don't know, I love the movies. Imagine having, like, a full-ass theater like this in your house. Like, I... I built a home theater in my house that is pretty damn good. Could you imagine having one this size? Have all of your no friends come around? Ooh, mask. There's no room in this. Oh my god! I'm just gonna use one of these because I have tons and tons and tons. And I like to be full health. Oh! Oh, 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 oh! Oh, oh, oh! oh, oh. I should I should be using a grenade actually. I should have used a grenade for that. I don't know. Oh, there it is. Oh no. That exploded way quicker than I was expecting. <laughs> but hey, it works. When it works, it works. I'm not going to fucking question it. And we got one back for our troubles. Nice. We also got the health potion that I took. We got that taken off of us. Whatever. <laughs> These babies really pack a punch, but the release destroys the housing chamber, so I have to keep making new ones. Julia said I should call them the Interrobang, but I think it's just, but I think just the punctuation sounds better. Addendum: I'm going to try making a machine that'll shape a new charge out of a regular ammo index, which will make production much easier. I totally understand what you just said. Oh, there's just tokens on the ground. Oh man, how many times have I walked past just tokens lying around? Also, are you guys down for like the whole thing until I leave and then come back and then you're all just in here? Okay, theater is cleaned out. I have gotten everything. That makes me feel very good. Me and my Rolodex are gonna find some names to print all over the back of your head. Oh, I can go into the TV studio now. I have, I have the red diamond key. Oh, I should have gone to my safe room. Oh, oh, because what if I find a mask in here? Oh, you can move over here. Uh, you can move over here, uh, over here, and then you can move up. I have three spaces, so I should use my guns more is what you're telling me. Where does this go? There's nothing worse in my brain. Maybe it's the ADHD in me. There's nothing worse than entering a room, having 10 other doors to go through, and you're able to go through all of them. And then I have to try and remember where I've been, and where I haven't been, and where is left to go, and I just forget really easily. I just get really overwhelmed really easily, and it really bothered me. He must have flipped my wife eight times! These are the hydraulics for the elevator. Where's the fluid tank? Okay, fluid tank is what I need. Oh, this is where I need to be. So this is the end goal for this area. Cool, got it, cool, got it. Gordo, that's a cool. We're gonna do it, don't you worry. Oh, right, I'm in the eating game room. In the studio. Do these yellow X's have significance to things? Or are they just markers for the... In the, in the business uh, of uh, filmmaking, you have markers that you stand on that, uh... Oh yeah, it is a marker. He's standing on his over there. It's like, oh, you need to go to here? That's the thing you don't see in movies, is that they have marks on the ground to be like, this is your blocking. Maybe they don't do it in movies so often because a good cameraman will, like, follow you or whatever. But if there's very strict blocking in a scene where you have to, like, stand around and where you're going for the camera to follow you, you probably have marks on the ground like this. Even for stage shows, I've had them. Where it's like, this is the center of your stage. And it's very, anyone who knows this stuff, it's very basic. But a lot of people out there who are watching this video don't know these things, so... Hi! Bitch! I want to make new friends! I'm gonna tape you up. Because I haven't taped up a Norman in quite a while. Okay, so now I can just go there. 
goblet. Oh yeah, because you're there, or goblet, however you want to say it. I absolutely love these style of broadcasting cameras. These are like really old looking, but a broadcast camera is like so big and bulky and they have such crazy like zoom and everything on them. Especially if you've ever seen the cameras for sports events, they're able to zoom way in. I don't even know what focal length they have on their lenses, but holy. Um, I used the shotgun ammo because I wanted to free up space. That's probably not the right reasoning to be using it. Oh, now you're open. And a new mask. I'm gonna eat you. I'm gonna move you guys up here. Nope. Uh, move you up there. No, yeah, up there. And then, uh, there is a way of doing this and my brain's just not helping me out here. There we go. Nice. Um, and some tokens. Nice, 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 nice. Still some other stuff to find in here. Hello? Uh, you guys, uh, got some of that stuff lying around? I'm gonna use one of these, because, uh, I have way too many of them. And raw clear, baby, buddy, buggy booby. That's what I like to see. Oh, yeah. Man, I fucking love this game. I love, I uh, just love really good level design and you're able to explore and figure everything out and as you're going, like, clear out the rooms. It's so fun. What do you near also? Sorry, Norman. Uh, you're kind of freaking me out and making me feel uneasy. I just had to pop a cap. Um, can I go through here? Nope. I honestly don't know where I'm going. I just wander around until everything's covered and I don't plan anything out. Uh, kitchen, shooting range, and rec room. Yeah, the safe. West office. Forget what that looks like. Have I been in there? Did I even try and go in there? <laughs> Bitch! <laughs> I didn't want that to happen. I wanted it to shoot both of you. I just wasted a shotgun shot and a... <laughs> Was he about to say salutations? Salut! Blah! Uh, this is the west office. Oh, that's this room. What am I missed in here? Probably some bullshit lying around somewhere that's really small and tiny and I can't see it because Goblet is running around after me and. Making me all uncomfortable. Can I shoot you? I don't think shooting them does a damn thing. Move! Holy! Oh my god. I'm stressing out. I'm stressing out. I'm freaking out. I don't know where the thing I'm missing is. This is way more stressful than it needs to be. Are you shotgun ammo? You kind of look like shotgun ammo. I, I don't know what I'm missing in here. That, that, has to be that. It's not! Fuck, 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 fuck. God damn, you're annoying. Any like tokens or anything on the ground? <laughs> Let me just see if... That does work! Stupid! Dumbass! Asshole! Okay, 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 I didn't know you got back up. I thought you were down for the count. I was just, I was just kidding around. I was just kidding around. I was just having a little goof and a little gaff at your expense. I was just messing around. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, let's look around. They're not coming this way yet. They're not coming this way yet. That's good, that's good, that's good. 
I don't know what I'm missing here. And it's starting to piss me off. And I... I don't care! <laughs> I'm getting out of there. Freaks me out. It's way too stressful. My heart rate is like way up as a result of it. And I just don't like that. All right, let's go to my safe room and dump some stuff. I don't even have room to store these. Okay, you're done. I should start discarding the things that I don't need anymore. The keys I'm still worried about, even though it says they're done, right? That that means you're done, right? Yeah, I don't think it would let me discard it if it wasn't done. Um, oh my god, what a mess. What an absolute mess I've made of my life. Just an absolute mess, but you know what they say. Hey, baby. Thanks for coming around once more. I thought the last time I just gave you the ick, but this time... I know that you're slick for me. <laughs> I don't like this character. I don't like that. It makes me wildly uncomfortable. <laughs> but yeah, I keep doing it because I like doing that voice. But I, I know I shouldn't. I know what I have to do, but I don't think I have the strength to do it. Um. Alrighty, Rudy. I can probably put the wrench in, but. Eh. How much money do I have? Far too much? <laughs> Suffering from success over here. Now I can get the red mask. A bushk. Is there everything in here? Yeah. I still haven't found any place. Really? Real? I still haven't found any place that the masks go. But I'll just keep carrying them around with me, I guess. Where else do I need to go here? East office. Uh, still haven't figured out the uh, west office. But there's something I'm missing in here. Ricky Dance. What if Ricky's like the ultimate bad guy in this? Like, oh, I'm here to help and no problem. And then at the end you realize like, oh, you're actually the devil in disguise. Okay, there's more to find. There's more to find. Where is it? There's more to find. So many fucking drawers. Is there like a secret stash in these fucking offices that I keep missing? Or is it like a token on the ground or something? It really bothers me. Oh, it's probably something like that I'm missing in the other room as well. Oh, I'll get it. Okay, the creature's not in here this time. I am determined to find whatever it is I'm missing in this room. I'm not allowed to leave, and I'm not allowed to do anything else until I find it. I'm being here. I'm here. Son of a bitch! Ah, I totally forgot about this door. By all the paintings. Ah. Our friends feel a lot of feelings. Junebug had a good day. Norman had a bad day. Liliana found a big mouse. George got cut off in traffic, so he killed somebody. Hmm. And then, uh, then his wife left him. And, uh, everybody got sad. And then he beat everybody up. It wasn't very nice. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff here that I don't have room for. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, safe room. Well, great. Box full. <laughs> Wait, I think I'm heading to the statue room anyway. That's what. Yeah, baby. Where did I come from? Oh, wait, I came from the statue room. Is this where I put the masks? Oh, okay. So. Wait, which one do I have? Angry. So... George got cut off in traffic, so he must be the angry face, right? Oh, it prompted only that one. Maybe that's all I... Let me get the other masks. I hope that I get the triangle key out of this. I'm also gonna stash some more stuff, because I have a lot of it. 
just to free up space for this one puzzle. Junebug had a good day. So that's her. Um, Liliana found a big mouse, so you have to be the shocked face. And then, poor old Norman is uh, feeling a little blue. I'm sorry, Norman. It's, it's, uh, sometimes you feel a little blue. Sometimes, uh, things don't go the way you thought they would. Mm. Huh, bud? <laughs> I love doing that voice. Everything just sounds so stupid in it. Hmm, I got hoes and bitches. Yeah. Yeah. What am I supposed to do with dice? They go in the safe. Okay, let's two, you should be three. Oh wait, there's no, there's no seven, eight, nine. Huh? Okay, so three, six, one. Right, they weren't reversed. Oh, oh. So three needs to be here, six, and then one. Okay, this is gonna take a while. Ha 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 Something clicked. Thank God I didn't actually have to know a code, and it was just check the reverse of these. Yeah, there it is. Hydrotastic. There's no room. <laughs> the fucking... <laughs> Story of my life with this game. Is that enough room? I don't think it. Oh shit! No, I need eight slots. Ah, wrong buttons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I need to move you. Which? Damn it! You have to go back and drop something, or I'm just gonna discard this. I don't care. I'm not. I'm not going all the way back there. The game's been like funneling an ammo into me all the time. Nice! That feels good. Projection room is actually done. I, I don't know why the projection room was just suddenly done. Where did I see the elevator? <laughs> I don't remember. It was somewhere, okay, it was here somewhere, wasn't it? Yeah, machine room. Yeah, here we go. In ya pop. They should fix that elevator. Okay, I don't know why I thought this was the elevator that I was going to be taking, but it means this elevator because I'm on the opposite side. Oh, it is the same one, but the door is on the other side. That's kind of cool. I like that a lot. Oh, wrong way. Don't go that way. Oh, you'll die if you go that way. And oh, now Junebug is going to be up again. Ice. Easy. Wait, is the thing upstairs? Yeah, okay. It should be through here. Yeah, baby! Nice! That was a big area to get through. There was a lot going on in there. Where the bloody hell am I- Wait, I can press Q to just turn around? Oh, well, not that it's that helpful to me ever, but... Oh, the figurines are cool! Okay, is this on the map? Waiting room. Okay, is that done yet? Nope. There are more secrets hidden about. Where are they? I'll figure it out. Or not, because I don't really see many other places to check, actually. It's always that shit. It's always that shit. Just 
hiding right in front of me. Boom, baby. Did it. Oh, nice! Hell yeah! Okay. Um, anything I want to get rid of? I think I'm actually pretty happy with my setup so far. I'm at full health. I'll save my game. And then we'll just continue. I also have a save that... I, I keep saving in case it's like, oh, I go through the door, it's the end of the game. And then suddenly it's like, shit, I wanted to go back and do stuff with the bird. Because I don't know actually how to get back to the bird from here. Are you the CEO of M MFN? Wow. Would love to have a view like this. Really? Because you have to sell a bit of your soul to get stuff like this. Front door key! Yes! Now we can get back to the bird easy. Front door. Front door key. Maybe this will unlock the front door. Cool. Okay. That's all there is in here. Oh, mighty of mighty MFN Network CEOs, grant upon me your blessings so that I may get through this game alive and well and make friends along the way. Gersval, that was your name. Nice office, but when you're a CEO and you have an office like this, first of all, I would have put the desk, um, maybe not because the couch stand wouldn't go next to this. I want to be able to look out if you're just... I guess if you're sitting here, you turn around and look at what you have. But like, like it, build in a window or like put some fucking arcade machines around or something. CEO offices are always so boring. There's nothing to do in here. Doesn't that feel good? The entire map is green. What, what was that? Excuse me! It's spitting other puppets at me! Wait, what do I do? Ow, God! Do I shoot its eyes? I, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing! Oh, my God! Ew, 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 ew! Let's try one of these. Jesus! Oh no! Oh my God! What was that thing? It looked like a giant pair of curtains. <laughs> Jesus! Oh my God! I thought your your shadow looked a lot like blood. Okay, Gordon, what's next? Make your way out of the offices. Okay. Ooh. I mean, I still haven't found the aviary or I haven't been into the public park yet. I actually don't know where I'm supposed to go next, but I want to go back and do these glasses. There you are. Bird brain, come over here. Can I interact with you? Yeah, they worked. Wait, can you actually see now? <laughs> Where are you going? Go away, George! I'm following the bird! The bird's cooler! Oh. My. God! Die! <laughs> Where'd he go? Oh man, I have to go all the way around? You know what, George? Just for that... I'm taping you up, so I never have to waste ammo on you ever, 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 ever again. He deserves that. What's going on? There's someone taped in the background. That's a good girl. There we go. See, nice and calm. Aww. It's been a long time since you saw yourself, huh? Happens to all of us. We all get shocked sometimes when we look in the mirror. Oh, sorry. Sorry. 
<laughs> You're beautiful. Gordon helped Pearl. Oh. That's so sweet. Wait, I don't get anything for it though. Shut up, we're having a sweet moment. That's really nice. I was wondering why this was back here, but... I guess that's that. Um, oh yeah, I have the diamond key now so I can go in here and get stuff. I'm glad I did that. That was a very sweet little tender moment. In the middle of all of this chaos and misery that's going on. How are you guys everywhere now? A tape! A cheat unlocked! Is that it? <laughs> it's still nice, I'm glad I'm getting them, but at the same time I'm like, I want new guns, I want like, new keys, I want all of these other things. I'm just gonna kill you guys so you're not bothering me in this room. Did say I missed something in here? It's red on the map. What did I miss? Your thermonuclear waste. I don't want to see- I don't want to hear somebody in a Kermit voice talk about nuclear waste. Well, this doesn't count as part of it, so... What am I missing down there? So have something else to unlock with this, so let's have a look around in this area. Um... Where you take out a stash of coins. There's a diamond door here in this old shooting range. And it brings me to... Oh! This is the car park! That just goes straight outside, doesn't it? Prop department. Okay, I did that apparently. What else is in here? Whoa. Oh! I found a thing with this, didn't I? A uh, stage. I saw something with this at one point. I can't remember what it is. My Friendly Scandal. Ooh. Richie Broby, known for playing Stevie on the long-running children's show My Friendly Neighborhood, is leaving that production after one of the puppet performers, Ray, attempted to hit him with a clothes iron during an on-set conversation. Ray is the guy that was in, like, the sewer. The faces erupted after Bromine had made critical comments about the show's creative direction, including creator Al Gerswald, according to eyewitnesses. It's always been like this on set, said Bromine in an interview. It's not just Ray. Pearl, Goblet, Ricky, they're all crazy, he added. This has been a long time coming. No one takes me seriously because I'm on MFN. I'm ready to have a career that's more widely recognized. Damn. Well, I don't have a code for this. I also can't remember what that's for. Um, do I, I? No, I don't think I have a code for this. Or if I do have a code for it, I'm not aware of what it is. Hmm. What room is this? Set storage. I'll have to remember this to come back. There are other doors that have the triangle on them here as well, so... Even if I figured that one out, I still have stuff to come back and do here. I'm not on the map. Huh? Another secret. Good. Those are always great. You're holding a gun! Aren't you? Ooh, I want it! I can't like jump or anything in this game though, so... You're holding a shotgun, so maybe I don't get it. 
Yeah, this is where I thought the other one was gonna lead. Wait, let's check where the other one leads, because now I'm confused about the orientation of this place. It might just lead to a set of doors that I have previously forgotten about. We go here? Ah, uh, yeah. So that's on, and that opened this. Cool. And else back here? All right, because I I was worried. I was like, where the, the heck am I supposed to go next? I have no idea. So we have this and the aviary left to do. So hopefully I get the other side of the crest for the aviary in this place. Oh, I don't like this. This is very dark and ominous. <laughs> Oh my god, so freaky! This is for kids?! This is terrifying for children! And again, some of the stuff I watched as a kid was probably terrifying as well. Nice ammo, coins, a map -a Oh, this place is way bigger than I thought. Is that a bird making noises? Let me save because I got the coin in here and I'm gonna use the coin in here and I want to keep ahead of everything in case I die or something, whatever. Oh, delicious. Gordon, where are you going? Where do you think? Hey, Ricky! What's the matter with you? Don't you want to be our friend? You have a funny way of making friends. I'm lucky I haven't been hugged to death. Or eaten. Okay, I admit we're not at the top of our game, but you can't throw us out just because we've made a few mistakes. I'm just doing my job. Uh-huh, sure. I take it blasting your way through hordes of allegedly psychopathic puppets is a normal day at work for you. <laughs> Seriously, Gordon, who hurt you? I don't know what you're talking about. No? So you were just born a bully? I'm not a bully! Surprised you're not a detective. They're always bashing down doors and brandishing guns. <laughs> or maybe a GI give you a chance to rampage through some small defense. Don't say that, Ricky. Say what? Don't talk about the war. Why not? Just saying. Seems like exactly the sort of place you- Whoa! <sighs> I'm guessing the war is a touchy subject then, Gordo? Oh, look at that ominous picture. <laughs> huh. Got around that pretty quick. Oh my god, Ray is so... villainous. Whenever you see him like that. Do you ever play with these in the playground where you like talk to somebody else on the other side of them? I used to love those. It's locked. I don't know what you mean, Gordo. We're gonna have to figure something else out to get in there. But let's go down in here first. What could happen? What is this? This... What was that? Was that some sort of dog puppet? Looks like a place for a battery. Okay, we gotta find ourselves a battery. I don't wanna fight dog puppet! That means he's going to be fast and hard to hit. No power, eh? Okay, well, what's this all about, then? Here I am, just Gordon, getting through my day when suddenly a ravenous rabbit dog comes out after me, right through the doggy door, ready to bite my dick off. That thing's real! That thing lives with us on Earth! <laughs> if you haven't seen I Think You Should Leave on Netflix by Tim Robinson, at this point, it's just gonna make no sense any of the references I'm making all the time. You should go watch it. Chemo blend. Or chemo blend. Jam solvent. It's empty. Looks like it drains if the chemical is wrong. Okay. Looks like it takes liquid. Maybe I can Ooh. use this to dissolve whatever's blocking the elevator in the hotel. 
Ah, and it finally comes around. One jug of Lumalux film developer, one gallon of weed out weed killer, one tub of virtuoso trumpet polish. Turn on the, okay, that's not gonna make any sense to me until later, so let's take our key and skidoodles. Is this dog gonna be out here now? No. Okay, that's good. We've got scraps, flooper, and mahoney. Or as the Irish should call him, Mahoney. Okay, maybe they're good dogs. Maybe I just gotta find them some food. If I find them food, maybe then they'll be happy and they won't kill me and eviscerate me and gobble me up for dinner. Good to know. Damn, fucking nothing to eat around here. Last night I was watching a rerun of one of the old newsreels from the war, when one of the stories jumped out at me. In one operation, a platoon of our soldiers found themselves trapped in a collapsing mine. As they ran to the entrance, one of the tim timbers supporting the tunnel began to fall until a private, Joshua Hartwright, caught it on his shoulders. Uh, damn, Spider-Man move. As he held up the wood, his friends scrambled out under his outstretched arms until after everyone else was out, he let go and the tunnel collapsed on him, burying him forever in the earth. When I, was, when I heard that story, I felt a mixture of emotions, pity for the waste of human life, anger at the injustices of the war, but most of all, I was horrified. Horrified that a person might have to do such a thing. Horrified that it was being held up as an inspiration to lay down your life for someone else to lose everything. To have the veil torn and the scraps of your life vanish into nothingness. How could anyone ask someone else to do that? Who would do that voluntarily? And if you don't, do they call you a coward? Yeah, I hate that shit. It's like you gotta fall on the grenade for your fellow soldiers. It's like... Maybe we should tackle the root of all of this as to why we're here in the fucking first place. Battery pack. Nice. Lifestyle opinion column. Somehow, life in the city doesn't seem as enjoyable as it once was. And I don't just mean because of the economy. I feel a burning anxiousness, a constant sense of missing something that saps the enjoyment from my normal activities and makes everyday discomforts almost intolerable. On the subway, people's elbows jab into your personal space. Angry pedestrians yell at you on the street. When I finally get home from work and snap on the television, I breathe a sigh of relief. Compared to the world outside, television is safe, predictable. I can choose what to watch and avoid what feels uncomfortable for a few moments. I can escape the anxiousness and become lost in a world of pleasant dreams. And that's in 1980 that people were feeling like, oh, the world's getting too big, it's bearing down on you. And now we have social media where it's not even like turning on a TV show to get away from it. You go on the internet and you're just surrounded by people and their opinions and the stuff that kind of bothers you in the real world all the time anyway, 24 seven. It's just absolutely constant. You can't get away from people in modern culture. It's exhausting to be a human these days. Wait, oh, I was gonna say I missed something in there, but it's the solvent that I need to get. Like it's hard to take a break from anything these days. Even though, it's like stuff that you know is bad for you as well. Like, everyone knows the social media is bad for you. Everyone knows that, oh, we shouldn't be on it all the time, and we should give our brains a break, and things like that, but... I mean, you're gonna go on it all the time anyway, because... That's just what... It feels like you're supposed to be doing. There's too many distractions around. And I should know most of all, because I get distracted by shit constantly. Oh, I'm back here! Oh, so I have to go here. Okay, so straight through. Boom! I'm gonna tape you up because I'm gonna have to come back. Boom! Who wants some more? Who wants some more? Norman, you want some? I'm not gonna give you some because you're actually just chasing me. Norman's my favorite one. Who's your favorite puppet in my friendly neighborhood? You must have one, and pick only one. If you pick more than one, I'll kill you. Hello. need six spaces. Oh, Lord. 
Here's the door that I haven't opened. Ooh. Oh, this must be to get some of the film stuff that was in that label. Business News Bites. The city has, been, has seen a recent economic downturn as a new wave of corporations has emerged, characterized by aggressive policies that place profits before the well-being of consumers. Man, I'm sure glad that's changed. One such corporation, Neb, whatever, has been uh, acquiring real estate at a rapid pace, in many cases evicting the current tenants as part of a program to reshape the city into a community more conducive to its business practices. You can't make an omelet without breaking a few eggs, and you can't build a community without first making people homeless. Ronald Richbaucher, uh, CEO of Nebuchadnezzar, in a recent interview. While it may be painful for some, we are helping to create a city that can withstand the future. Sure, 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 sure. That makes total sense. Film reel. Film developer, there we go. I want to go back and... What is this? This looks like a map that it's teaching me something, like doorways or... But I can't read it. Episode 12, 256. Damn, you guys did a lot of episodes. I guess when it's a children's program like this, it's easier to kind of like... Crank out episodes over and over again. Welcome, welcome, welcome to, to our... <laughs> <laughs> tour, tour, hey! I don't have any tape. Um. So is it mainly just this door that I'm trying to open? Oh, I do have tape! I don't want to use it on you though, because you're gonna stay uh, down for the count for the rest of this uh, escapade. Uh oh. The dogs are out. Uh. Need to get through here. What if I just run? <laughs> Good doggy. Good doggy. Good doggy. Okay, I'm out. <laughs> I'm bringing my key back. Oh God, why are you guys everywhere now? God damn it. Oh, and he can't go that way. <laughs> Shit. Who's talking? Who are you? Do I have any tape? No. God damn it. Why are you made? Why are you made out of stone? Why are they alive like that now? Oh my god, there's fucking dogs everywhere. Shit. Um. Okay, I need to. I'm kind of fucked no matter what way I want to go. Oh, shit! 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 I only feel that in the morning. Oh god, I feel so bad! Oh man! I'm go I'm going, I'm going, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. Shit, 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 shit. That's the first time I've died. Is that the first time I've died in the game? Oh man! Ha! Huh, that stinks. Well, I'm glad I've been saving as often as I have been because that sucks to get sent all the way back here. Ha ha ha! New door. In the sewers. Hey, hey! That's not gonna fix it. Hey, Ray. What's going on? How do how do you fix it? I can't turn it. Plug scene's incomplete. Oh man, I need another piece. Maybe I was supposed to come here much later, but I, I just remembered having doors that I didn't figure out yet, so I came this way. Damn it, I got a playground key. I think... 
thing about the dogs is that they don't stay down. Yeah, it has to open this. Excellent. Excellent. Are you able to follow me up here? Because that's a problem for me. Where am I going? Inspect. Looks like the pegs in that bucket can go here. Okay. Um. Uh, oh, are these all the pictures? Oh God, there's a lot of them. I know George is right there at the playground. Ricky. <laughs> <laughs> Ricky's in the middle of the playground. So here. All right, that that helps so far. Anybody else around here? Uh Liliana's in this place as well. Uh oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> Stay down there, that's a good boy, that's a good boy. Okay, can't see anything else from here. Let's put Liliana here? And there's two on the bottom. Okay, I kinda gotta get down then and look at it. The bird's on the George side and Ray is on the other side. Bird's here and... Ray is here. Leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone! Leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone! I really should save though, because I did a lot of stuff since the last time I saved, and if I die, I do not want to have to do all of that again. So friends, Leonard, and Goblet. So friends, Leonard, <laughs> Nice, the weed out! Excellent! It's all coming together, baby. Can I jump out here? That would be so handy if I could. Help me avoid this stupid dog. Oh, you seem kind of stuck though. Never mind. <laughs> I wish there was some way of getting rid of them. A bit better. Shit, actually, I want to go that way. Let's finally put the aviary stuff in. I don't even necessarily know if I want to go in here yet, but... We could at least put the pieces in. Is th oh. <laughs> I was like, is that not it? Wow. Actual birds and not demon birds or monstrosities intent on killing me all the time. Battery pack. Perfect. What do you connect to? All the way up there, okay. Hopefully these later areas, the playground area is actually pretty small, and this seems pretty small as well, so... Maybe bird friend can come in here? And do something? Bird lady Pearl is like the only person... Person? Is the only thing I care about in this game. <laughs> Everybody else I don't really care. But Pearl is so sweet, and so nice, and I love them. Oh my god, you're actually just puppets as well. I thought you were real birds. Um, I also don't know how this thing works. Like why so- oh, this is a safe room as well. Tools too? <gasps> oh, so much space for things! Okay, well... I can discard you. I can discard you. I can discard you. Nice. I can discard you. Oh, baby, and I can discard you. I have so many things! Um, but that is kind of annoying, because if I go to another save room that doesn't have storage too, then... Aren't I kind of fucked? Where am I? Scenic department. Huh. George, stop laughing like that. It freaks me out. Oh, 
Whoops. Well, I wasted a grenade, but at least now you're taped up, and if I have to come through here again, I'm not going to get bothered by you. <clears throat> I don't really care either way. Wait, it says I have everything in here already. If you can drop, you oh! Man! Some of this level design is blowing my mind. And I immediately had to come back in here and fuck myself up. Hey, George! Why don't you come this way? <laughs> Idiot, stupid, moron, stinky brain. Okay, well, at least I have a way of getting in there a bit easier now, I guess. Oh, God, there's a puppet in here. <laughs> Let me go through that big gate that I unlocked in here. Which essentially just completely cuts out that other area, doesn't it? If I unlock that gate or that door. What is that? Dog food! And then if I do that, they just keep eating and never bother me again, right? Right? I think so. I don't have a map for this area, so I don't actually know if I've gotten everything in this room. I'm gonna try it out. I think if I put the dog food in... But you go up to that one. And this one goes to... How do I get power up to that one, though? Oh, so I have to turn off power to the two bottom ones, and then it, I can turn off power to the top one. I think. So the entire, all of it can't be open, which is... Oh, wait, this one's open now. Because I have the top one already on. Nice. Whoa! Whoa! Holy hell! Okay, that is so much gear! Oh, that's nice! Oh, I feel so good! Yeah! I'll keep the tape. Uh, I'll stash some shotgun ammo. Let me stash some of you. Still have uses for these keys. Huh. This one I'm surprised about. This one I know that I have some more rooms to do, but... Ha! Huh. That takes up six slots, so you need to go here. And then take that. Bada bing, bada boom. Nice. Wait, there's a trumpet in the middle of that. Is that where I get my trumpet polish? What is this thing? Bird feeder? A grenade dispenser! I like that! I think that's pretty cool! <laughs> I still need to get the last thing, which the trumpet polish for my device. But I don't really know where I'm gonna get that. There was a music area in the last place, or the big building, so maybe it's in there. And I'm hoping as soon as I do this dog food thing, it's just a perpetual thing that they keep eating forever and ever and ever and never bother me. Ever, ever, ever again. Sorry, Pooch. I had to put you down. Okay, let's see. Yeah! Ding-a-ling-a-ding-ding! -ding. Maybe they'll just go to sleep. I didn't even realize that you had six legs. Or five legs. See? You're not so bad. Ah, oh, they like me! Oh, cutie. Gordon helped the dogs. <laughs> I'm such a good guy. I just love dogs. All I want to do is pet them and smush them and get their little faces going. Also, I completely forgot about that curtain monster that came and attacked me. It also says I'm missing something here. Like this section is red. Why? What are you? Power splitter? Ah. That'll do it. 
Um, okay, where do I have left to go? Back into the main building? It's, I'm so confused. I see a triangle door on the map. I also have the movie reel that I want to look at. Music studio, yeah, this is what I remembered. Do I have tape? Sure do. How did that miss? Christ! Uh, are you chasing me? I'm not gonna tape you, it feels like a waste. A waste of tape. Um, I'm looking for trumpet polish. In recent years, television viewership has surged and television programming has multiplied and diversified as broadcasters scrabble to capitalize on a rapidly growing audience. New favorites like Crime City and Drama Daily have grown quickly in popularity as the war generation ages and their children beginning to enter the ranks of adulthood imitate their parents' viewing habits. In the same period, however, My Friendly Neighborhood's ratings have plummeted. While surveys suggest that the show is as popular as ever with the under six crowd, the new generation of parents is less and less interested in showing it to their children. Preferring instead more mainstream offerings like Dinosaur Mayhem, this has prompted the City Network Broadcasting Group to put pressure on MFN Studios to reimagine the core principles of its series. I mean, yeah, you can't have to adapt. You can't really keep doing the same thing over and over and over again. I say as I'm sitting here just playing video games and screaming and swearing at them like I've done for 10 years now at this time. But, for TV shows it's different. <laughs> I'm actually very glad that I get to keep doing the same thing. Hiya! In nomine sinctu, Padre, Spiritu Sanctu. Um, recording, where are the, trumpet polish. Right? Where did it go? Huh? Oh, there it is. Got blended in. Yeah, trumpet polish. Nice. Is that everything in this room? Sure is, baby doll. All right, see you guys. Now I have to figure out where the projector room is. I think I can just go straight across. TV studio, maybe? Nope. I am not where I thought I was. I could look at the map, but I also kind of want to figure out if I can see where I'm going. I'm totally lost. <laughs> Here we are. Finally found it. Okay, let's put it in like number three. They said it was a heist, right? Oh! Seven? Twelve. Four. Seven, twelve, four. I need to write that down. <laughs> Is that on me? Okay, no, we're fine. Seven, twelve, four. Got it. I gotta go all the way back to the original area then to get that. Seven. Twelve. Four. Ha 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 Ooh, and I got the new fuse! And the new way of putting them in! Um... So... Okay. Spade, star, diamond, heart. Oh yes! Oh, I love it! I love it! It makes me feel like a puzzle master! I'm back in the statue room because I realize there's a triangle door in here. I should try and get everything I can out of this. Wait. Oh, this is the other side. That was really confusing. I thought it, I was like, I've already been here. Secret. Find five cheat tapes. You think that's all of them? Money. Um, I don't really have a lot of room for anything in here, because I have this now and this. I'm actually all out of space. No, I'm not, because these keys are donezo. Finally, I opened up every triangle and every diamond room in the game. That is most splendid. And now this area is done. Wait, I came in here to get two coins? That... That was it?
I guess it's just to show me that there's like a room where they were writing stuff and there's a conference room and... Oh man! <laughs> I also can't remember how to get back to the sewer at all. If I go down the main sewer slide that I did at the beginning of the game... That doesn't get me to the other part of the sewer I need to be where the elevator is. I forget where the elevator down to the sewer was. I can't remember where that is whatsoever. <laughs> and it's so annoying! Ooh! Bathroom. A tape. A film reel, I mean. Nice. Wait, what is this one called? An antique movie reel called Rejected. Looks like it would barely work. Ooh, rejected! Excited to watch that one! Who's it gonna be about? Where am I? Still in here. What is that? Ooh! A piece of tankard or boiler! That's for the... <laughs> Where was it? <laughs> oh my god! There's so many places I've been now that... Oh! In the bottom of the sewer! In the other part of the sewer, yeah! Where Ray was trying to fix shit. Okay, now that's done. Stage two. Let me go there, I... Un until this whole map is green, I'm not done with this game. But yeah, I don't know how to get to... <laughs> the other part of the sewer anymore, because all the boats are destroyed. Or they don't work anymore. So if you go to the areas with the boats, where you get from one area to the other, they don't work anymore. Some of them are destroyed, some of them are just completely gone. I'm so glad I tied up both of you guys. That was one of the best things I did this whole game. Wait, isn't the stage where... Ray was? Oh, I'm in the danger zone. Ooh. I need to save and heal soon. Oh, but the rest of them aren't here anymore. A whole bunch of them flooded in here at one point. Um... What did I miss? Hello? Watch it- watch it be like one thing now, like one little piece of ammo and that's it. That's all it's gonna be. It's gonna be one little piece of handgun ammo, and then nothing else. Can interact with that. What? It That's better than just a little piece of handgun ammo! That's a lot of stuff, actually! Nice! Now we're done, and I'm gonna take this as well. Because I do not want to die and have to reset a whole bunch of shit. Already did that. Okay. Phooey! <sighs> it's taken a while and it's getting really confusing where to go and where everything is, but... I'm starting to really get the entire map covered. Which I'm very excited about. East basement, I still have... This is the door. See, I need to get here! Where is this again? I don't know! Let's see what this, uh, <clears throat> movie reel is all about. Now all four have a movie in them. Is Goblet gonna come in again? <laughs> Why is this music in it? I don't even think I can use this! Unless I can, I don't know. Oh my god, it's war-torn. Oh, now they're actually gonna come in and watch! Are you watching war footage? Is she depressed? That's what I needed to stop you chasing me? Was to put on war footage? To put on Vietnam flashbacks? That's it? Why are you so into this? Jesus, this is terrible! This is horrible to watch! I think I have everything in this area now, though. Oh, look at that. 
So nice. Also, I remember where the elevator is. It's at the playground. Okay, you have fun. I'll be back. <laughs> at least now I don't have to worry about them chasing me anymore. Okay, what was the order? Spade, star, diamond, heart. Spade, star, diamond, heart. Um... Spade star... Nope. Uh, okay, heart goes here. Diamond goes here. Uh, spade star. Yes! What's in here, though? Okay. Cool. Another elevator? What do you do when you get Gain access to stage five. Whoa! I'm like, off the map. Oh yeah, this is more like it. I could use a vacation. Whoa, this place is nuts! Can you swim, Gordon? Uh, maybe, but I can't get out now. <laughs> Damn. This is cool. I'm glad I did this now. This feels like a secret area. Around slot. Okay. Oh, do I have to find gems? Okay, got it, got it, I'm into it. Pirate treasure, here we come. Uh, I'm just gonna kill you guys around here because I really don't want to have to deal with you as I'm doing things. Now oh, they're pirate themed. <laughs> it's fun. Okay, where am I going? Here's the green one. Nice. The worst part is I don't have this on the map, so I can't figure out if I have everything here or not. The backdrop's so sick. I have a feeling, you know when you see people film on the volume these days? It's like a, an LED wall that has Unreal Engine on it and the cameras are perfectly synced with it so that you can get like shots that are backgrounds of like real scenery and you get real lighting and all that. I imagine in the future there's going to be sound stages like this where we have giant LED walls the entire way around and you can just move your camera around in it. Which would be really cool to see. Two shots! Damn, George! Fired a whole Rolodex at you. And you just took it. I wonder if there's anything over there. I keep thinking like, oh, there's letters around the place, but... That's because I'm shooting letters at people. <laughs> Wait, I can walk here, but I can't. Am I supposed to be up here? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's all three, baby. I better get something incredible for this. <laughs> Always knew I'd make a good pilot. Big gun! Conclusion! There's no room. Ow! Oh, it's so annoying! Okay, well, you can move over here. You can... I'm just gonna discard you, because I have plenty. Shit! Oh. I'm gonna discard you, because you're only, like, one. And I can use you. Yes. This the conclusion. Stop. Press side right, stop to the conclusion. Okay. 999 ammo? Oh! They used up six ammo though. Okay. That is definitely like if there's a final boss. Wait, you didn't have one in the chamber, but you shot anyway. I shot to try and reload you. That's like if the rest of this game is so similar to Resident Evil, 
That's my my magnum, my desert eagle, my super gun that I use to blast the shit out of the final boss. Maybe it's that curtain thing again. Oh my god, why are your arms so weird, Gordon? I hate them. <laughs> Oh, I've no room for anything now, though. Wait, is this even the thing? Pump piece. I don't know if this is the thing for the bottom of the sewers. Because I was just missing a minus button. It had a plus button, so I don't know what it's for then. Let's try this button. If it goes in, it goes in. If it doesn't, then I don't know. Oh, it does! Oh, because the top slot wasn't a button, it was just a slot for it. Oh, uh, that seems bad. Ah, <laughs> oh, we're washing away the dirt. Is that why he's so angry all the time? What do you want? Fix. Yeah, I fixed it. Ow. Fix. I, I, I just... Look, when, when you've got a problem... You can't just clam up and start hitting everything with a wrench. That won't fix anything. Good. <laughs> well, I'm going now. Weird. Gordon helped Ray. Nice! So now I helped the bird and I helped Ray. And all I got were good vibes. That's all I need, really. I can survive on good vibes. We have all our ingredients. Oh. Okay, so they're gone from inventory now. Got it. Um, what was the thing I needed to do with them? So all three... So, press the following buttons for the indicated times. Red, green, blue, green. So one to two, three to four, two to three. Red, green, blue, green. So short, short, long, medium. Red, green, blue, green. I want to forget that. Uh. <laughs> I already forgot it. Oh my god, what is wrong with me? I was just thinking at the times. Red, green. Oh, it was red, green, blue, green. I was right. Shit. Okay. Red. Green. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Is, is that is that not it? Do, do I have to do something else? Yep. <laughs> okay. Did I do it? Ha <laughs> ha! Let's go! Jam solvent, here we come! That doesn't count as having, having finished this area though. I'm missing something in here. Ha <laughs> ha! Jam solvent, here we come! Now I figured it out. Okay, I think this might be the end of the game. So, what I'm going to do is go back to my safe place. I'm going to... It says I'm healthy, but I'm going to heal anyway at the thing. I'm going to get all of my healing bottles out of my stash. I have all my guns. Except I have no shotgun ammo anymore, but I feel like if I got the... The Gatling gun... Then I probably don't need it. Um... Okay, let's consolidate a little bit here. Yeah. Move you down there. I can take two of you. I actually do have ammo for my shotgun. Um. I have a lot of firepower here. I'm just saying. I really feel like I don't need all of this. 
Like, if I have this many grenades and the Gatling gun, I really don't think I'm gonna need shotgun ammo. Let's just go the way we are. We'll figure it out. I have it saved if we do need it. But I mean, if I'm fighting the big curtain thing again, or maybe there's something even bigger or worse. I... I took that thing out with one grenade last time, so... We'll see. I don't think I got every single little thing in the game. Because there was still... that area is all done. This says it's still red. That's where I put in the... The club diamond star fuses. I'm probably just missing some ammo or something here. This one, the orb puzzle? I didn't do. But I can't remember where the thing is. So... I don't know, I kinda just wanna do this. Finally, let's get this done. Woohoo! Unless this is a whole other area now that I have to do. Which it very much could be. Am I on the map? No. Wow. Big city. Big city out there, Gordo. Too many people. Too many places. I wander the dark streets of the city alone. I walk these empty streets on the boat. No. The neighborhood is deserted, ripped apart by corporations converging on it like vultures picking at a corpse. The crumbling buildings, the shattered glass glinting on the cracked pavement, the sagging car leaning on its flat tire, make it look like a combat zone has blossomed here in the heart of the city. The comic glow of a traffic light gives everything an ethereal dreamlike quality. I count lines of windows with their curtains pulled, each hiding someone in a dark apartment watching TV alone. An aching terror gnaws at the roots of my bowels. I feel like I'm teetering on the edge of a black pit, about to plunge into the void and be lost forever. I am alone. Even here in the heart of the city, I am vastly, eternally alone. Hmm. Whoa. Oh my god, I'm in a crayon palace. Huh? That music's gonna drive me crazy. Who the fuck is that? Okay, I don't have any puzzle pieces. Why am I in a cardboard house? What is happening? When Ricky enters, Arnold's penthouse is in utter chaos. Furniture is lying upside down, cardboard sheets are pulled off the wall, art is lying on the floor, Arnold is in the corner digging around inside his chest. Arnold, what's going on? Are you looking for something? Arnold looks up. CAT! You've lost your cat? Have you looked everywhere for her? YES! Have you looked in the kitchen, the bedroom, the patio? He waddles over to the piano and holds out a sheet of music to Ricky. I wrote saw. I see. I take it you want me to sing this. As a reply, Arnold begins to play the piano. Ricky sings the song. Lament for cat. My cat is gone. I am sad. Where are you, cat? Cat, 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 cat. You are not in your bed. I had a cat named Snowball. She died. She died. It's locked. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> okay. Cardboard Palace of Joy! What did I get? My voice feels weird. Flock from the other side. Okay. Guys, have we done drugs? I'm freaking out! <laughs> kind of afraid to get near this guy. Alrighty. So I'm looking for puzzle pieces. There's no room in the toolbox. God damn it. This is what I get now for filling up thinking I'm going to be fighting the final boss. Let me go back to my storage. Let me put a bunch of my stuff back in. Alright, purple key. My art by Arnold. One. Two. These are lovely. 
Very nice, bud. Oh, nice. Cozy fire. Everything is normal here. We're not on the map and everything's made out of cardboard, but it's... Huh? What? Does one of these open the door? The bar's blocking for Tear it down! It's cardboard! Oh, there's a fucking puppet here. Square, circle, diamond, circle, square. Uh, oh shit. Huh. Okay, maybe I'm not supposed to do this one first. Oh, sweet Jesus. There's nothing in the fridge. Something could be placed here. I'm so confused! There's nothing to chop. Okay. I was never good at cooking. <laughs> His voice is all messed up from the soda. Chop a tomato into tomato sauce. Tomato sauce goes into a box. It goes into... Okay. Oh my god. This is... This is so... I don't know what I'm supposed to be making. Stuff for the fridge? Check the other rooms for a second. All right. <laughs> uh huh. The switch game. Of course. The jump game. Of course. The car game. Of course! I feel like there was something in his art that was telling me what to do here. Where are my socks? Fish, 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 fish! Find my cat! Hi, how are you? This is so fucking bizarre. It's all the puppets. What do we do, though? Log in. Cam A. Sounded like that came from the other room. What? What? I don't know what I unlocked, but okay. Did I come from this room or the one next to me? Oh, jeez. That fucking music. Real looker here. Mommy must be proud. <laughs> oh, thank God, a map. Oh my God, stop playing that part of the song, please. It's so annoying. Shut up. This is gonna seem a little weird. I know, suddenly I'm not in the cardboard place and I'm doing something else, but I went and I uh, replenished my water. Almost knocked my coffee over. Uh, I replenished my water and when I was downstairs, I was talking to Evelyn about the game and gushing about how amazing it was and all these different things. We got talking about the different characters that I've helped. And she reminded me that I needed to go into the theater. I've helped everybody else, and I don't know why it didn't click with me. I went and helped uh, Pearl the bird, and I went and helped Ray, but I didn't go back and help um, Goblet. I put on the movie, and Goblet went in and was like, is she depressed? But I didn't go in and actually see what they were doing in here. And Evelyn said that I could talk to them.
You have salt and pepper shaker fingers? Oh, right, because you're the food one. Life can get you down sometimes, huh? Oh. First time I ever saw a movie as a kid, there was this scene of a man riding into this big blazing sunset, and I remember when it came up, it just caught me. I don't know if it was the plot or the music or what, but my heart just suddenly leapt, like, like I had just heard an old friend calling my name. And I sort of forgot myself and turned around, thinking someone was behind me. But all I saw was a little star of light coming from the projection booth. No one else turned around. They all were just focused on the screen. But it felt so real. So solid. <laughs> Never knew what to make of that. And eventually I forgot about it. I guess during the war I got distracted. But it just came back to me now. What a sweet, tender moment! <laughs> Gordon helped Goblet. You're gonna be all right, Goblet. Don't worry. You might think that everything is weird now, but... <laughs> but eventually everything is going to get better. You may think that life got you down now, but just watch movie and life be good. Okay. All right, bye, Goblet. I'm glad I did that now. I would have been so pissed if I did the entire game and didn't actually go back to do that. Everyone, shout out Evelyn for saving my ass. All right, back to trying to figure out this nonsense, I guess. Um, all right, what is it telling me to do? I need, <clears throat> I need a key, um, which means I need to beg for five seconds, which means I need the fridge, which means I need these three. Okay, so I just need to do this, this, and this. So I need milk and a microwave to make that, and then cut the cheese to make a banana. How do you cut cheese to make a banana? Okay, I don't have... milk. Oh, I have a tomato. <laughs> There's no milk anywhere! Is there something I could do to make milk? Okay, the tomato needs to be chopped to make... ketchup. Yeah, and then ketchup needs to be put in the microwave to make hot sauce? <laughs> I don't know why my laugh sounded so jokery all of a sudden. <laughs> oh, there's the milk. Okay, milk go in microwave as well. Microwave that milk. Make some shez. And then I cook that to make banana. And then cans go in the house? Huh? I don't know. I don't know what this is. Oh, it's this! The three circles on top. Oh my god, I thought I was looking at it straight on, and this is like how kids draw roofs on houses, but it's the top of a stove and that's the oven. Oh my god. So, they go on that for 20 seconds? And then all three go in the fridge, and then I get the key, and then I'm able to place the real key with the fake key. Door opens, I'm able to go out, get all the treasures that I've ever wanted. Okay, this makes a lot of sense now. Is this 20 seconds yet? And done. And done. Oh, I'm not allowed to look at it. Right. I have to not look at it for a continuous 20 seconds? What if it overcooks? Maybe I'll hear a ding. Is 
Is it done yet? <laughs> 20 seconds feels like a short amount of time, but now it feels long. It's done! <laughs> I got my pot. Okay, so you, you, you. <gasps> yes! Key! Key! Okay, that wasn't as complicated as I thought. It, just looking at the instructions made it look really complicated. Shut up! And then place you in. <laughs> yeah, baby. Oh, I thought you stopped playing. That's how Gordo does it. Now, there's some chests in... here... not in here. Next room? Yes. <gasps> Puzzle piece! Nice. NICE! Has there been chests anywhere else? I can't actually remember. That song is lovely! Keep playing! No, no, keep going! Okay, so I need three more pieces. I do know there was a chest in here. That gets me a piece. It's locked from the other side. Okay. Um, let's save, just so I don't have to do that again. Uh, how much money do I have? Ooh, only one piece left, but I do have a lot in here. Take that. Take some of yous. I'll take some of yous. Yeah, why not? Why not? I've got a ton of room. Uh, not that much, actually. <laughs> Although I do have tape. I could tape somebody up. Uh, puzzle piece. Okay, two more. Can I? I'm kind of afraid to get near him in case he kills me. Let's see, was there anything back here? God damn, George, you take a lot of hits. Oh, there's a piece. Shotgun ammo? Nice. My shotgun has been quite lonely lately. Ooh. Ooh! Look at that! Ooh, that's fun! Ooh, I like that. Let me see your secrets. Oh, I hate this, though. Uh, should I just blast all of you? Don't need to. I don't need to. What if I blast them? Oh, God. I was gonna say, what if I blast them into the pool? Huh? What's the pattern? Maybe this next room will teach me. Please teach me. Oh, oh my god, it's getting hard in the eyes. Box office report. A puppet winter song. The eighth film in the My Friendly Neighborhood franchise opened over the holiday weekend to an underwhelming $1.4 million box office, signaling that the film will fall short of recovering its $25 million budget. Man, doesn't that sound familiar to this year? Where so many movies came out and they all flopped. And everybody was like, cinema's dead. Nobody wants to go to the movies anymore. And then Barbie and Oppenheimer came out and collectively have made 1.5 billion as of recording this video. And then everyone's like, oh, maybe it's just that you're supposed to make good movies. And not just inflated budget cash grab movies. Right. Got it. Pow! Pavo! <laughs> Everybody dies! Oh, this just leads me back here, though. That's not helpful! Idea! 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 Didn't he have a picture book? 
He had a picture book with puzzles in it. Or pictures in it for the puzzle. Picture puzzle picture book. This one. Yeah. So number one is this. Okay. Squiggle shapes. Dog. Squares. Circles. Apple. Am I am I gonna remember this? I don't know. Okay, shapes, dog, squares, circles, fruit. Squiggles, dog, squares, circles, fruit. Okay, okay, I'm gonna forget. I'm gonna forget. It's leaving my brain. It's leaving my brain. You need to get there faster. You need to get, the more I think about it, the less likely I am to remember it. Okay, the first one is this. And then it's this. And then it's this. And then, and then you, and then, and then fruit. Oh, thank you, brain, thank you. Oh my God, you still got it. You've still got it. In your old age, you still got it. Oh, that feels wonderful. Now I can discard this piece of shit. Oh, that feels good. <laughs> There's probably a better way of remembering. I swear to God, in the last few years, my... My recollection of things like that has gone way down. Like, I just can't remember things as easily like that anymore. I think the time I got COVID, it, like, rearranged my brain forever. <gasps> oh my God, you're fucking hideous. Hey! <laughs> Do I have to talk to you? If you didn't stop banging on the piano like that, my ears were gonna start bleeding. Play do not. Uh, no. Play do not. Play I do what? I read music. <laughs> Get off me! <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, Yamaha! <laughs> Is that a Yamaha? Arnold. You're Arnold? Ew, I don't like him. Whoa. Where are we going, buddy boy? All the way to the top. Antonia! Antonia! That's how you do that voice, by the way. You gotta scream from down here. But you gotta add you gotta add shape to your mouth and go. <laughs> Hurt your throat after a while though. Mr. Gerswald, we are writing to inform you that effective immediately, the my friendly neighborhood, the show my friendly neighborhood has been cancelled, and the production company MFN Studios has been dissolved. All assets and equipment, including puppet performers, and studio lot, remain the property of the City Network Broadcasting Group. All employees have until close of business on Friday, July 22nd to vacate the premises. Respectfully, Lawrence Blacksoul, Vice President of Programming. Oh man, they got shut down? Can I... Do I... Internal error could not terminate broadcast. Yes, I'll go out and do it myself. Ooh, this is getting spooky. Whoa, pack! Damn, this is awesome. Can I? Huh? How do I get up? Oh, this. I didn't notice that was a ladder. Strollman and Kautzer. Oh. 
Oh, this is the... What a thrill The darkness and silence through the night What a thrill I'm searching and I'm melting to you What a fear in my heart This is much nicer though Are we actually gonna turn it off? Because when you get here, it feels like all the puppets are like deranged and out to kill you, and now it just feels like they've just been abandoned here and they all need help. Like all the ones I've helped, like Ray, Pearl, Arnold, Goblet, the dogs. Oh, I don't know if we should be climbing this in the rain. You have a screwdriver with you? I guess you do. Gordon, you don't have to do this. I don't want you broadcasting, Ricky. You're gonna hurt kids. Hurt them? Gordon, we want to help them. They need us. You need us. For what? For what? Gordon, look at this city. The buildings are dark and the streets are empty. No one knows how to be a friendly neighbor. It's a city of shuttered up hearts, and they need someone to let in the light. <laughs> I don't think that's you. You know why I think we got canceled? Why? Because people like darkness more than light. <laughs> why would they do that? Maybe it makes them uncomfy because it shows how messed up they are. What are you talking about, Ricky? I'm talking about our show, Gordon. We show them how to be friendly, and they hate that because they're not friendly. I don't think that's the problem. Really? Are you sure about that, Gordon? Do you really think the city network suits care about anything except their bank account? Do you really think people won't take any excuse to ignore their own issues? Come on, Gordon. We both know, deep down, you want to be friendly. Yeah! Side with the puppets! Sorry, Ricky. Oh. Jesus! <laughs> How did you survive that? Where am I? Okay. Where are we? I just asked that, Gordon. You're being redundant. What the fuck? Hey! Oh, <laughs> oh yeah! That was sick! Okay, I guess I can heal first. There's no like music playing though. This is freaking me out a little bit. Um What could I put away? Nothing really. Move you over to here. I only have three coins left. I need to be wary of that. Okay. Pretty full stack. What the hell was that thing, though? Can't go in there. It's so dark, I'll probably trip over a stage light. <laughs> what a specific thing to trip over, Gordon. Driven by a restless spirit, I go up on the roof, and there, above the wreckage of the city, I see the stars, pure and beautiful and very close. Something about them stirs a vague memory in me, 
like I'm looking into a wondrous other world I've forgotten. And as I stare, I suddenly hear something speak to me. Something says, I am with you. <clears throat> Someone who can reach down, pull me out of the pit, and bring me home. Is it Ricky? How does Ricky get around? <laughs> it's also weird, because when you start off the game, you think it's people in suits. You think it's like somebody in Ricky being like, hey, how's it going? Um, but it, it seems like they're just alive, that the puppets are real. Huh? Hello? Hello? Ricky? Gordon? Ricky, I'm here. Oh, Gordon, thank goodness. So, what are they? Bad puppets? Oh, Gordon, I really hoped you wouldn't find out. It's so embarrassing. But we were all curious. What do you mean? We wanted to know what other shows had that we didn't. We'd never been allowed to watch television before, but after we got canceled, no one was around to stop us. Okay. So we turned on one of the old sets, expecting to see something amazing. Ah. But it wasn't amazing. It was... mean. It felt like we were dying, Gordon. We all got a little twisted then, but some of us... Great. Then how do I get out of here? Well, there's... Uh, th th there's an elevator somewhere. Uh, should be at the end of that hall? It said it's locked down. Oh, that means you'll have to pull the security release. That's on the other side of their stage. Uh-oh. No, of course it is. If I ever get out of here, I'm gonna make you into a hat, Ricky. Oh, I believe in you, Gordon. <laughs> Just do your wham-blam fight the puppets thing. Give them the old ABC one, two, three. Thanks for the encouragement. I gotta go through the dark area. Oh, flashlight, nice. Wait, so that's why all the puppets are evil now? Because they watched television and they all, instead of being like, hey, I'm your friendly neighbor. Now they're all like, oh, death and suffering are all around us. They watch the news, that's why. The news is miserable. Oh, the unfriendly neighborhood. <laughs> you stepped into the unfriendly neighborhood now, Gordo. Now you're fucked. Now you're gonna get attacked by all sorts of things. Anything lying around? Now I'm playing uh, security breach again. <laughs> WHAT THE FUCK?! HOLY SHIT! Oh my god, they're so freaky. Oh my god, they're so freaky. What happened to you guys? I want to see you up close, though. That's so creepy! Huh? That's so cool! Whoa! 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 Can I pull out the big gun? That is not the big gun! I don't know if I'm actually supposed to be shooting this thing! Oh my god, I can't see my items. I think I'm supposed to be doing this! I'm not sure though! I'm really not sure! I'm just gonna keep blasting until something happens! Die, you spawn of Satan! Okay, something's happening. Something's happening. Shit, I think, I think I was supposed to actually, I think I was supposed to go hit that button while they were distracted. The problem is, I can't see my fucking, there we go. Okay, when they're like that, then you go hit this. Yeah, baby! Here, have some grenades. 
Did I do it? What happened? Yeah! Woohoo! Anyone else? No? Oh my god, that was like fighting the Rat King in Last of Us Part 2. Jesus. Oh, that had my heart in my fucking mouth. What were you supposed to do if you didn't have this gun? Just keep all your grenades? What if you didn't have the grenades? Holy shit! That was so intense! I knew it had to come in handy. I knew there had to be some sort of final boss. That was so creepy. What were they? Dear children, I'm sorry to announce that this will be our final episode. I wanted to take a moment to address you personally so that you may have a final lesson to remember after we're gone. Our world can be hard and scary. It can sometimes be difficult to know what's right and wrong. Because the world is broken, and we're broken too. Our hearts are hollow and dark, unfriendly. And there is nothing in this world that can fix us. No beauty, no power, no food, and no fame. What we need is for a light beyond our world, the light that is also love, to reach down and seize our hearts and bring us back to itself. In our show, we've tried to give you a glimpse of that light, so the message I want to leave with you is this. Have faith in the light. Sometimes it may be scary, sometimes it may hurt. Sometimes it's hard to know what's right and wrong, because good and bad are all jumbled up and confusing. And when that happens, it can hurt a lot. But have faith in the light, because the light will rescue you from the darkness. Wow. <laughs> My fellow children, today we lament the end of my friendly neighborhood. And now the news, 10 dead in a backed up traffic jam. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, I'm back here. Huh. Do I just leave? Ricky? Anybody? That's just it? We're off broadcast forever? We're all dead? Defeat the boss and escape the unfriendly neighborhood. Oh, it's morning. Oh, what are those buttons? I didn't see those before. Gordon, oh. you're alive. I'm so proud. Good. I'm leaving. Yes, you should. Job well done, Gordon. Turned off our antenna and survived the unfriendly neighborhood. You're a handy man extraordinaire. Don't mock me, Ricky. Mock you? I would never. Oh, before you go, I was wondering if you'd do us a favor. Oh? You've been hanging around the studio. You know a little bit about our show. Spit it out, Ricky. I was wondering if you'd help run our studio. What? <laughs> See, everything's really old and falling apart. Really beyond our ability to care for. And on the personal side, I think it's obvious that we need a bit of a guiding hand. Are you kidding? Gordon, do I look like a sock that would kid? <laughs> Ricky, I'm just a maintenance man. I don't know how to run a studio. Oh, I think you can handle it. It can't be that hard. Besides, look at how much you've helped us just since you got here. I talked to the other puppets. Reviews are dazzling. What if you end up like them? <clears throat> I don't think we're the ones you should be worried about, Gordon. Come on. Won't you be our neighbor? Oh, yeah! Well, we all know I'm gonna pick yes. Of course I am. I helped out all the puppets up until this point. Of course I'm gonna help them right till the very end. Until the government and the city find out what we're doing and then they just come in and shut us down anyway. But, for the time being. Fine, we'll give it a shot. Oh, Gordon, I'm so glad we will have such fun. I'm not living here though. 
Well, we'll talk about that. Oh, Gordon, <laughs> thank you. Thank you for being our friend. I am bursting at the seams. I must go tell the others at once. Tomorrow night, then? Uh, no, 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 it's no. It's decided. Tomorrow night. See you later, Gordon. Arrivederci. Toodaloo. 23 skidoo. Ciao. <laughs> O'Brien, what have you done this time? I helped the neighbors get a slot on public access TV. Nice! It was late night on weekdays. I don't think anyone watched it. Within a couple of weeks, though, word was starting to get out. Some people loved the show, some people hated it. That caught the network's attention. And by the end of the year, we had three channels wanting to sign for a whole season. Nice! Of course, after my boss found out I was involved, I got fired. But somehow... I feel a little hopeful about it. It's hard to describe. It's like you've been lost in a tunnel. Until suddenly a voice calls your name. And you turn around, and you see the rising sun. And it's so bright, maybe it hurts a little to look at. But you don't care. Because it's leading you home. Oh, what a lovely sentiment. Glad I'm glad that we helped them. I wonder what happens if you just say no. Woohoo! Created and directed by John Shemansky. Teleplay by Evan Shemansky. Hell yeah! What a terrific video game. That was just amazing. I don't know if there's really anything you can complain about with a game like this. It was so fun. I like the story. I like the levels. The environments were great to look at. All the puppets were really fun. I really like the... I like the story that's going on in it. Man, a lot of people worked on this. You can tell though, it's it's really polished, and I didn't have a single glitch or bug or anything go wrong in the game. Oh, I uh, think I ended early. Can we uh, go back to the beginning? <laughs> oh my god! Are you telling me I was one second off being exactly five hours? I could have held on one second! I would have been five hours dead. Oh, that's insane. Four hours, 59 minutes and 59 seconds. Deaths, one. And I'm so annoyed that I got that one death. I shouldn't have allowed that one death to happen. I did overly save, but I was just being cautious as well as when you're recording these types of things you like you want to make sure that you're making the progress you don't have to like redo entire sections and things like that but i got a lot of fucking shit i want to see them here mega wrench triple enemies fast weapons long arms jointless ragdolls speedy enemies chipmunk voices oh that really makes me want to play again. Free cam mode, hell yeah! Love that as well. You know what surprises me the most about- well, not surprises me, but makes me so excited about this game more than anything else is that it's a very video gamey video game. And that sounds like nothing, but what I mean is that the mechanics of it are really sound and solid. Because you have games like, uh... A Poppy Playtime, for example, because Poppy Playtime, I feel like it's a lot of shit from the horror community a lot of the time Because it's a lot of style and very little substance It's like like the animations are incredible. The environments are incredible to look at the story that they're trying to tell is is fine um, The designs are really good the art style is really good, but when it comes to the actual gameplay of it, it's like there, there's like a lot of nitpicks I would have with it and a lot of stuff that you could fix and it's unfair to compare games like these, but 
I feel like because it's that mascot horror that people are terming, I feel like it's kind of impossible to avoid. But with a game like this, it's like you have all of that. You have the environments, you have the voices, you have the animations, you have the the style and like the characters are really cool and you have the story. But on top of all of that, you have these really solid survival mechanics that are very akin to like Bioshock and Resident Evil. You have like the map is very Resident Evil going around and finding all the guns, having like the wrench and everything and being able to bash stuff, conserving your ammo versus using your ammo, uh, clearing out every room, the puzzles, going back and forth, being able to go to any part of the environment at any time that you want to. All of that is just top-notch stuff. You can tell that the Shemansky brothers playing this like just really love those types of video games. And... I think that that really shows and it really shines and I think that they're very, very good at doing it. Um, and it, it, it'll be very interesting if you played it on a harder mode, but like taping up the puppets, that's very Resident Evil 1 where you can like burn the bodies of them because they don't always go down, or Resident Evil 2 where it's like, I'm gonna shoot your legs off but I'm not gonna shoot your head off because I'm just wasting my ammo and you're gonna come back after me anyway but I'm gonna slow you down. Those types of things I think I think in this game it's really, really good. It's a very, very well made, very polished video game. Sound design is all is all great. The fact that the guns are like shooting letters at you, they all have very clever names. Uh, the novelist shotgun, like the pump action part of it is a book on the bottom of the shotgun. All of that is just, it's really like top tier stuff. And I feel like this is gonna be one of those indie horror games that goes really far and proves that like you can do this type of mascot horror you can keep it original and fresh and do something that is incredibly positive incredibly well made and is like a 10 out of 10 experience because there is stuff that you could nitpick in this game like uh the the gameplay loop does get a bit repetitive after a while and going back and forth does get a bit repetitive but that i don't think that that's a bad thing i i wouldn't see that as a knock i would see that as just like Understanding your environment, getting used to the mechanics, um, picking your routes. If you go back and play it again, you know what routes you're going to be coming back and forth through a bunch and which ones you aren't, so you know which puppets to tape up and which you don't. So I think all of that is a strong suit rather than a, a downside, but I could see some people nitpicking it. I don't know, I just had a wonderful experience, an absolute blast playing this start to finish. And I'm glad I did it all in one video because you just kind of like sit in that experience and you get to play through it all in one go and you guys get to see it all in one go and like really get used to it and just kind of like sit back and have a really fun experience with it. And I think it's it's really, really well, ma well made. Those Shemansky bros, they know how to make video games. David with Iron Lung and that went so far and I really hope that this one goes just as far as well. Um, there's really, really great stuff. I'm really glad that indie games like this exist um, and this one, I guess, is a horror game. It's not really that scary. And I guess that is something that I kind of wish there was maybe a little bit more of, like, by the end of it. Like, that, the crowd of them coming after me when they're all fucked up looking. I kind of wish there was more of that in the game. Like, by the end, when we got to it, the puppets weren't as silly, and they just started getting more and more fucked up, and we just had way more of the fucked up stuff at the end, like some of them were all starting to like deform and like a big teeth or something like that. Uh, but maybe it doesn't suit the narrative of the game. But yeah, I liked it. I don't know what else I can say about it other than I loved everything about it. And I knew I would. After playing that demo, I could tell how polished and how amazing this was going to be in a full form. And I, I'm just so glad that it exists and I'm glad that I played it and I can't wait to see what they do next and they're just really really smart game devs anyway that's my friendly neighborhood let me know what you guys thought about it in the comments uh, I have plenty of other horror games that you can go back and watch uh, just finished FNAF security breaches DLC you can go back and watch the full series on the main game of that but I have plenty of other go back and watch the Resident Evil Resident Evil 2 and 3 I did on the channel Resident Evil 4 all great games if you're in the mood for something like this, of this style of gameplay. I think you'll really uh, dig those as well if you haven't seen them already, but plenty of stuff to watch. But for now, thank you guys so much for sitting down. If you watched the entire thing, kudos to you. You spent like your whole day watching this one video and that's amazing. If you spread it out over multiple days, no harm, no foul. I'm just glad that you're here and you're watching it and you're giving it a shot. And go buy the game. 
Don't just sit back and watch me play it. If you can afford the game and you are interested in it and you want to play more of it yourself, go buy it for yourselves because you have to support indie devs like these. As we get more and more into the talks of AAA games budgets becoming like $200 million and it taking six years to make a game, these are the types of games that are really standing out and really proving that you don't need that. You can sit back on a more modest budget, make a game that you have a lot of passion for, and just make something really solid that has a few hours to play, and it really blows people away. And I think the indie scene is what's going to make the video game industry keep thriving for a very long time. So please go support devs like this and their brother David with Iron Lung as well. Go buy indie games. They're very, very important to our economy here in the video game industry. And I really want people to support them. And if you really, really can't afford them, if you can't go out, if you really are just watching me and you never had an intention of buying this or you really can't afford it, just spread the message about them. Wishlist them on Steam. You don't even have to buy the game on Steam. Wishlisting goes a huge way for indie devs on Steam because it really creates exposure for them. It rises in the ranks. It just goes into that algorithm or however it works and it just makes more people aware of these games and they can buy them. So please, as someone who started from nothing on my YouTube channel and now I am here with a voice that I'm able to proliferate out and help other people that kind of start from nothing as well, I really want to be able to use that potential to get other people seen and other people to be able to get to make the games that they want and live their lives doing the passions that they want. So please go support indie game devs. It really matters a lot. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.